Hello, hello. Hello. All right, I'll do my intro, and then we'll get started. What's up, guys? Camera here, and I'm streaming myself working on my Pokemon game again. This will be the 11th time now, and uh, yeah, we're going to make some more progress tonight. It's going to be great. I'm a little tired, but let's get into it. So one of the things I want to do tonight is maybe set up the rival battle here. Um, we need to talk more about what Sasha's Pokemon should be for her team. Um, I also want to work on the checkpoints. Did I already do the checkpoint for this? I didn't. So the third floor needs to go out to the checkpoint. And then I'll also work on the third floor for the electric mountain and the checkpoint for that. So hopefully I'll get all three of those done tonight. Um, those maps. And uh, maybe I'll do some rival stuff. Maybe we'll talk about what her team should be. But yeah, that stuff and maybe more tonight. So one thing I want to do is maybe incorporate a bridge in the checkpoint for this place. So uh, what I need to do, make a new map. And I think it was just Mount Yellow. I should, I should think of a different uh, name other than checkpoint because uh, it's it makes the name of the map so long. I think 50 by 50 was fine. Uh, and the background music for the other checkpoint was, what was it? Gate. So let's do that for this one. BW49, Gate. Have it play at 90. Nice. Okay. So what I kind of want to do is just copy from this and then take it as an example moving forward because this is pretty good. So let's copy some of this, paste it onto that second layer like we do. And then on the first layer, I don't really need to worry too much about the first layer. For now, I'll paste just all of this and then we'll figure out the rest later. I mean, I could do something to make it look more outside, but I don't need to worry about that too much. Hey, what's up, chat? Beard Danny, hey, welcome. How you doing, Hunter Forsberg? What's up? Oh, look at the bits. Thank you, man. Look at these bits. How you guys doing, though? How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's have this go over a little bit. Boom. Good stuff. And maybe make this one start breaking early and then kind of go up a little bit more. Maybe incorporate a bridge across the little gap to the left. That could be interesting. Let's do something like that. So if I want this to start breaking a little bit more, what I need to do is have it kind of go up and over. Okay, I got an idea. <laughs> I know, but not cam hype. I didn't bring that one, no. I'm doing alright, that's good to hear. Hello, Mr. McGee, welcome back, how you doing? Oh my gosh, look at these bits. It's a gosh dang, uh, bit, bit storm. And I'm, I'm all about that. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, the cam rip's pretty good too. There we go. Yeah, my favorite one is Cam W though. I've tried. I'm trying to make that a uh, an emote for my channel. I don't know if it got accepted or not. I I don't know what to think because uh, I went to go look at my emote settings right before I started streaming and they didn't show up. So I was like, oh, did I lose my emote privileges? I hope not. That would suck. Let's have this go over. Paint it in. Good stuff. So it should go like this, and then up around here should be the uh, healing spot. I think I can afford to do something like that. Uh, looks okay. I'll, do, I'll just do it for this. There we go. Hey, Destroyer, what's up? Welcome. How you doing? Let's see the camera? Okay, so I guess it didn't get approved. Not yet, at least. I don't know if it'll ever get approved, though. They probably saw it and they were like, ugh. This is too much to look at. Okay. Um, so let's do something like this. And then have it kind of bridge a bit. So I need to figure out where, what level I want the bridge to be on. And I think it was supposed to be the one on the left. That's the correct one. Something like that. Just a short little bridge. It's too sexy. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, 
Brad and Nino. So, um, there is one emote that's going to be sub only, but the thing is, it's also the exact same emote as one I'm using on Franker Faces. So, it's right now not sub only. I think when it gets approved, I might remove it from Franker Faces so it is sub only. But, uh, I don't know. I have yet to decide. Because if I do remove it from Franker, fa from Franker Faces and it becomes sub only, then that'll be like more motivation to sub if people really want that stupid emote. I mean that great emote. I'm saying I shouldn't sub right now then. I'm saying uh, if the emote's not there, I mean you can sub whenever you want. That's what I'm saying. If, if having one emote makes or breaks you subbing, then uh, yeah, don't sub. Wow, wow. Let's see. Go over here. Something like that. There we go. What's up? I try heart. What's up? Welcome. Welcome back. How are you doing? Just woke up and I just went live. Nice. Yeah, so I'm starting late tonight because I was out with family doing family stuff. But I am back now. came in late. Professor Frankly, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I, I uh, was doing family stuff. Don't crucify me for being late, though. I I don't like how aggressive everyone is when I'm late. Uh, so if you guys could take it down a notch when I show up late, that'd be great. Welcome, though. Welcome. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, sometimes I'm going to start late because I'm out with my family. I've got to live my life. Oh, Brad and Eno, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. I mean, don't tell me who and not to sub to. All right. Well, in that case, I think uh, I think you made a great decision. That that emote's gonna come and it's gonna be great. But until then, it's it's there's not a whole lot of benefits to subbing. But thank you, man. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's awesome, you guys. Let's expand this chasm up a little bit more. Oh, what does that sound? What was that? Oh. Why did it play the message twice? But thank you, man. Look at that. <laughs> Check it out. It read the whole message out. That was cool. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. That's that's awesome. Just a nice little tip. That was funny, it uh, played the message out twice though. Was it really loud? Could you guys hear it? I hope you could hear it. I might need to fix that. I don't know why it played twice. But yeah. I uh, I hadn't heard that, that jingle before, so I was like, what is that? What does that mean? Why wasn't too loud? Okay. Awesome, thank you you guys. Look at these bits. <laughs> Man, I appreciate all the support. It was somewhat low. Oh, okay. Should I should I crank it up then? So that way it's easier to hear. What do you guys think? It's still fine? Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it sound funny? Yeah, it did. It was uh Double the love. Maybe a bit louder? Okay. I'll crank it up so it's a little bit louder. It doesn't help that I'm playing a lot of music, also, but I'll uh, I can edit the settings for it right now, because this is pretty easy to do while I'm working on maps and stuff. Let's see, copy, copy. Let's see, I can go to the alert box settings. I can go to once it loads. I can go to donation settings, I think, and crank that up. Crank that up a bit. Now it's going to be pretty loud. It's it's at double loud what what it was before. I'm going to crank it down a little bit from that. So it's not double anymore, but it's uh close. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. This proof not KMW. I know, right? What a world we live in. When we could get a hideous emote like that, you what? 
That emote's like kind of scary, actually. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, you guys. One evil team. I haven't decided yet. I'm leaning towards no, though. Right now, I'm leaning towards no. Um, I think it might muddy things up a little bit, and right now I'm trying to keep it simple. Although, if the game like if I'm hit if I hit a point later where it feels like it would be a natural fit to add an evil team, then I think I might go do that. It's just right now I'm I'm thinking I might not need it. Colego Max, hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. Actually, how you doing? Hello, hello. All right, have this go across a little bit, and then I'll need to have this go up a little bit more. Cool. I wonder if I should have wild Pokemon encounterable here. It's supposed to be a checkpoint, but it might be fine if wild Pokemon show up here, you know? Let's see, let's put a cave entrance like that. Cool. An organized group, like what? Hmm. Maybe? I'm trying to just make it so that way, at least right now, so all of the other trainers that show up on the island are uh, other people taking the same challenge you are. Hmm. It's a tough call. Let's put this on the third layer. And then delete this from the second. Cool. Know how well Neko are PGXP? Oh! I don't know about that. If that works to play RPG Maker XP games on emulator, though, that's like a game changer. That's a big deal if that works well. I don't think I've heard of it, though. But yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for it. <laughs> the only downside is if Pokemon fan games get more attention due to them being able to be played on Android, that's actually a bad thing. It's like, wow, I can play so many fan games now on my phone. Nintendo goes, huh? People are playing a lot of fan games now? Let's, uh, let's correct this. Because, did you hear, did you guys hear that today, Nintendo, uh, or rather, the Pokemon Company, uh, sent a cease and desist to, uh, Pixelmon, the, uh, the Minecraft server with Pokemon? They said, hey, stop it. And they're like, oh, okay, we'll stop. Just today. At least I think it was just today. It's a mod, not a server. Okay. Goes to show how much I know about Minecraft. I used to play a decent amount, but I didn't. I didn't really ever get into online servers very much. I did stream a couple servers. I forget what they were called, but they were like mini game servers. But yeah, whatever it is, they shut it down. Yeah, next they're going to remove brown bricks from the game. Hopefully not. Yeah, they're like, they have to be really protective with their IP because their IP is worth so much money. But on the flip side, it's like, you're starting to like, they're starting to like, I don't know, be so strict. It's like, they don't, it's like they don't want anybody to have any fun with their product unless they're playing the one that they bought from them. But I guess that makes sense, kind of. I don't know. It's hard to justify, like, how aggressive it is. But in, in a sense, I don't know. You kind of can. It just sucks. It just sucks. Yeah, they need to... Yeah. Hypixel. Yeah, Mindplex was the one that I played. That was the one that I played back when I played a lot of Minecraft. I had fun with that one. Some of the minigames were crap, though, but some of them were fun. There we go. This ought to be decent enough for our mountain. Odds are the player won't be able to see that far. And I'll make this extend down just a little bit more. There we go. Sometimes something popular, they get banned, and they get shit from everyone. Yeah. The thing is, though, it's like they can wipe their tears with all the money that they have. It's like, oh, whatever. The cycle will repeat and repeat and repeat. Some some fan-made thing gets popular, they shut it down, everyone gets mad, and then everyone continues playing their games. I mean, everyone continues buying and playing Pokemon stuff. 
Let's see. Whose teams have I made so far? I've only made um, Roy's teams. I've made the first two of Sasha's teams, but um, I need to make the rest of them. Snowy Mountain. There's snow way. Okay, have this go down like that. Professor, nope. <laughs> Professor Sierra. I actually, I uh, I have a plot twist that might be interesting um, if Sierra is the final captain. I mean, that might be a spoiler, but I mean, that's fine if I'm dropping it here. So there's actually four instead of three. And then that's where you go to the final place. And then you battle him, and then you become the guy. So that'd be cool. There we go. Good stuff so far. It's coming together. So now let me do some of this. That looks pretty decent. First few styles, and that's the other thing. Yeah, our our favorites are different. I really like maps. That's I really want to be a level designer eventually one of these days, when I uh, become a big boy uh, video game man. So like making levels and testing them is my favorite thing. Let's see. This will go like that. That'll go up like that. Boom, there we go. Hello, what's up? XD Fever. No, Forever. <laughs> XDF Forever? Welcome though, man. So I'm bad at it. Oh yeah. Oh, your Twitch crashed. Fan games. Yeah, fan games are a good way to keep us playing Pokemon games up until the next Pokemon game comes out. I feel like they need to realize it. Do I watch extra credits on YouTube? I used to, but then stopped. I don't know why I stopped, but I felt like some of the messages starting in getting redundant. Like they were telling me things I already knew, so I kind of stopped. But yeah, that that was a good series, or is a good series, I guess. Boom. All right, now I can add a little bit more rocks to spice it up a little. Gotta add a nice amount of rocks. Let's see. Put one of these like that. Boom. Are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little bit tired, but then I'm doing good. To Pearl Games, hey yo, what's up? Welcome. Sorry if I missed your message. What's going on, dude? Yeah, I'm a little tired. Just coming up with a new light. I don't. And uh. EBS is just made by Luca. Luca SJ. He does a really good job. Um, but I don't know when or if he's going to do updates. I mean, he has an auto updater that you can download and it'll automatically download the next update whenever it comes out. So, there's no worries. Oh, yeah, the forest. Pop that into note. Yeah, Nintendo doesn't like fan games if they can impact if they negatively impact them commercially. Basically, if there's a potential that it could cut into them like their financial success, then then they say, "Hey, we own the rights, you don't. Stop." Yep, I'm playing Sun and Moon right now exactly. More trees. I play game ten knows things that are wrong, really minor things. Kind of like you when you play game. Okay, yeah, that's exactly like me finding minor things. You got to be good at finding the minor stuff when you're a tester. Why don't they take their Pokemon? Pokemon Whack is a masterpiece. I actually, uh, I'm very glad that Pokemon Whack has not been taken down because um, it's really the only Pokemon game I play. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see, snowy, there we go. Select that one, and now this should transfer you to the checkpoint on Mount Hielo. No, there. Facing down. 
cool. And then I can just copy the entrance, I think, for Mount Hielo. And go to the checkpoint there and paste Arino. And then have that take you to over here. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's not really evil. Uh, they have to do it because they own it. It's like it's a it's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of scenario. Because I'm pretty sure that they appreciate people appreciate their games and they really like it when people play their games. And like all these passions, all these like projects that people make are, pro, uh, pro, uh, stuttering all of my words. I'm sorry. They're uh, passion projects, meaning they're only making it because they like the franchise a lot. So it's like bittersweet in a way where like they have to protect their IP because it's theirs and they made it, but it, it's, I don't know. I'm not Nintendo, I can't speak for them. Hey, Kairoshiro, what's up, welcome. Pokemon Mon oh yeah, we were just talking about that. Yep. More stuff getting shut down. But yo, how you doing, Kairoshiro? Let's copy this. There we go. So now that looks pretty decent. So that's our checkpoints. We can add maybe wild Pokemon here. Oh yeah, I need to do the uh, bridge on and off events. So I'll copy from here. Actually, no, do I? You're not going underneath this ever. Yeah, if you're never going underneath this, then that's fine. Let's see, so do you make your full region map before? I actually make it after. Well, it depends. Um, I want to get a good amount of maps done, and then I make, work on the region map. Um, for this place, though, I haven't been working on a region map. I need to do that pretty soon, actually. Let's see. Boop. Sense because there's some donations. No sense because I made no profit. Yeah. It's... I think Uranium also was like... Here's all these uh, fake mon. Prism, Prism is confusing to me. It's I think it's because it got a lot of attention, mainly. Like when it's when a fan game starts being reported on like video game websites, that's that's actually kind of a bad thing. Cause cool, it's getting a lot of attention, and now they're getting so much attention that uh, we're gonna take it down. Yeah, stuff that generates money using the Pokemon IP is definitely like a no-no for the Pokemon company. They're gonna see that and go, all right, time to smack down these people. There we go. Yeah. Oh no, this is the wrong bridge. That's the wrong one! Ah! Sprite, try to fix his mouth. It's a very Paul look. Okay. I'll give you some feedback. Let me uh, first do a fix to my bridge. And let's play some music. Yeah. A fancy trailer? Maybe. I don't know. Whatever gets them the most attention, I feel like, is the problem. Cool. So if my game gets a lot of attention, then uh, I'm in I'm in trouble. Bridge off it, do you? Yes, I use the wrong bridge all the time. Every time I make a bridge, it's true. I'm uh I'm cursed by the bridge, the bridge witch. I'm on the right map already. Cool, I saved here. Haha! Now it's the right bridge. Yay! That's kind of neat. It works. Good stuff. And I'll, I think I'll make it so the bridge, yeah, the widge bridge, the bridge. I think I'll make it so there's no wild Pokemon here. I'll just have some trainers you can talk to that say like, I'm taking a break. Like, let's add a guy. Let's add a, let's add a mountain man. Let's also play some music. Hey, Atomic Sock. <laughs> Welcome. I know, right? That's the that's the beauty of having a fan game that gets no attention. Like, Pokemon Paradox has gotten like relatively little attention, and I'm gonna make a trailer for it when I put together the new update. And I hope actually it doesn't get a whole lot of attention because uh, I don't want Nintendo being like, "Hey, take that down." 
contact you? I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool, though, to also be contacted by Nintendo. It's like, it's... I don't know. It'd be kind of it'd be kind of surreal for them to reach out to me. 34 from Heart Gold Soul Silver. I mean, I guess I could. I like playing the chill songs, so if this song is chill, I'll keep playing it. If it's not chill, I'm gonna have to cut it off. Let's see, is this chill? Hmm... Hmm. I don't know if it's chill. I'll play it for a little bit, though. So tension and a threatened. Yeah, anything that threatens the official Pokemon games they don't like. How to add a language section. Oh. I don't know if I'll make a tutorial on that. That's actually going to be really tough. Um, basically, you'd have to be able to make all of your events in multiple languages. Wrong one. Ooh, this one isn't chill enough. What about, uh... What was that song? Snowpoint? City? Is that from X and Y? No, it's from Diamond and Pearl. Let's see. Is this chill? This sounds like... One known at a time? What the heck? This is too chill! This is like, almost no music. Nighttime? Some kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna try to make you feel better. Um, that song just kind of sucks. It's just one note at a time. Ding, dong, dung, ding. Yeah. <laughs> Speeds up. Okay. Sorry, I'm just a little too impatient. Uh, I'm taking a break. That's what he'll just say right now. And move around randomly. Nice. Copy and paste. We'll place another trainer here, and he'll just be facing down and not moving. That'd be funny if it was, like, her... And she says, why did I wear a bikini to this frozen mountain? I can change that later, but like right now she's like actually freezing to death. Ecritique? Ecritique's pretty good. Come swim through the snow. <laughs> Fun doggo. That'd be a funny name for a dog. Change the hue to blue. Oh, that'd be interesting, yeah. Oh, that's too blue. Like an alien. She's frozen solid. Light Platinum Glaze and Zed and Omicron. Yeah, I think it's it's just the ones that make it really big that get taken down. Ooh, let me take a look. I didn't check it. Oh, what's this? Oh. Scrolling, scrolling. I'm seeing some really good art in this art channel. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, throw this on over. Let's see. Yeah, this is a bit better. This is a bit better. One thing that needs to be done, though, is give him flip-flops, and maybe... His eyes, I really like his eyes now. If we could just give him, like, more of a, like, a, huh, smirk. And, uh... Maybe make it so his hand is more, like... His thumbs clamps, or, uh, clamps around the ball, but maybe have his fingers more clamped down on the ball. And then flip-flops. But I think the, the arm here is good. The shirt's good. The hair is really good. The eyes are pretty good. There's, there's only a couple more areas now that need to be tweaked. It's good stuff. Gen 5 menu stuff? Oh, there is a plugin for it. Well, it does need to be added separately. It's right here. It's a shiny 570s black and white 2 mod. Uh, basically, there's a whole list of all these scripts. 
and you gotta plug them in one at a time, as well as plug in the uh, art resources. And there are some bugs, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a large uh, collection of them where it's all in like one centralized location, and it's very good. Yes. What's poppin'? Poketate, what's up? Welcome back, man. How you doing? So I made this checkpoint already. That was pretty fast. Let's make the third floor of our Nightmare Mountain. This is the worst mountain of all time. But I'm gonna work on fixing that to make this one not as nightmarish. Great, you. I'm doing pretty good myself. Just, uh, you know, chilling like usual. <laughs> Making more Pokemon. Let's see, what was the theme for this place? It was six, I mean, 88 Victory Road. That properties, 88 Victory Road. Crank it down to 90. Good stuff, all right. So I was thinking of doing more um, bridges <laughs> for this room. And uh, maybe this time I won't select the wrong bridge. Think about it. It's freaking hilarious. They went to a Minecraft mod. Yeah. I'm kind of tired of it. Yeah, I feel like... Oh, yeah, the Pokedex is the most buggy one destroyer for those scripts. Um, but, yeah, I'm doing pretty good, Poketate. I'm a little tired. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I mean, you could just work with V16 and then add Gen 6 yourself. There's nothing stopping you. What was I going to say, though? Um, I don't remember. Huh. Oh, well. <laughs> right bad drama. Wait. The right bridge? Oh, yeah. Pick the right bridge. All right. I have to be sure to pick the right bridge this time. Or rather, in this case, it'll be the left bridge. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I got a good idea to make this map not suck. I got a good idea. Yes, 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 yes. 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 All right. I'm going to make a good map. Unlike that last map. That last map was awful. This map's going to be great. Okay. So... One thing I need to do, the first thing I need to do is have an elevated part right here. Yes. And then I'm gonna... Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I figured it out now. I had to, I had to plot it out in my head, but now I've got it plotted out so we can get to work. This is going to be good stuff. Trust me on this. I, I'm going to like this floor. It's going to be way better than our tile floor previously. This is going to be more fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what's V17? I don't know. It's an enigma to me right now. I've got no idea. All I know is that it's going to be a thing eventually. And that's all that's all I knew. Okay, so this will go like that. Okay. So this will go up and then go like that. So what we need to do is something like this. Maybe not that much, maybe like that. And this can be reeled back a little. Maybe one more. Uh, that was two. One. Nice. Okay, let's get an electric gate in here so I can start planning out how the uh, corridor should be widthwise. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. The top of the summit? Yes, there is going to be gym leaders at the top of the summit. And eventually there will also be legendaries. They show up a little bit later, though. It'll be like something that you go back to revisit the mountain, and then a uh, legendary bird will be there. That's the plan. 
Oh, if they had seven, that'd be cool too. If they added elite battle system, I just hope when if they do a big update, it's not like too crazy popular. I just don't want fan game stuff to get too insanely popular because. I mean, I guess it would benefit me in a way, but it wouldn't benefit me at all if, like, Pokemon Essentials got, like, taken down. That would be a nightmare. That would suck. What I care most about is the fact that people can continue making games. I want to play new Pokemon games without having to wait for them to be officially released. I want people to make games. I like mods. Bless you. Hey, thank you. With a lot. Yeah, that's the thing, though. I'd, I'd much rather have people continue making mods, though, than have my channel be successful, if that makes sense. Maybe in a rematch, their ace is the birds? Oh, so you have to beat them again, and then they'll release the bird or something? I'm learning it. That's true. If they, like, had to take down the wiki, it would... It'd be fine. Wait, so if I'm using a bridge that people walk o under, then I need to use this bridge. Okay. So this should be the correct bridge. Going to sleep now? Good night, everyone. All right, good night, Brad and Eno. Thank you again for uh, subscribing. Hopefully next time, the, uh, the amazing emote will be here, and then you can uh, use it to its full glory. It's a pretty good emote. <laughs> but thank you, man. You have a good night, too. So let's see. One thing I need to do is actually move everything a little bit to the left. So what I want to do is make it so that way there's like a bunch of like little puzzles that open up the switches. Test it now. No. <laughs> I'll never test it. Never! <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, if there was no wiki, there'd be still me to reference. Okay, and get help from. I guess, but the thing is, I still learn from the wiki myself sometimes. I'm absolutely I'm absolutely not an encyclopedia of knowledge. I mean I do I do know some stuff. But I'm not the uh I'm not the, the go to know everything guy. For some things maybe I can help though. So this should be one puzzle. And maybe it doesn't even need to be a puzzle. Maybe it could just be a trainer blocking a switch. Oh yeah, these got inverted. I kind of like the concept, though, of having it be... Let's just do this, actually. I like the concept of having it be a switch where when you press it, you see what happens. Kind of like a visual wiki. Okay. So if people have questions, they consult the video. I'm just glad that people watch them and that they help people. Because originally I just made them because... I don't even know why I made them. Just because I felt like... F f seemed like fun. <laughs> seemed like a fun thing. Um, let's see. This sucks that there's no like good corner piece for this type of tile. Like That looks bad. I could do this. Not that actually is okay looking. That actually is okay. Sweet. All right, I can I can do with that. I can make deal with that. Make Watson's gym. Yes. I I want to eventually make electric gates where there's like a red one and a blue one. I could work on that for like the the next section of maps, cause I want the next puzzles to like throw something new in that makes them a little harder. So I could have that where, like, some of them switch on and off. I always prefer visual than text. Okay. So in that case, I'm doing a doing a good job. <laughs> sometimes Ultra Super Saiyan Blue. What's up? Welcome. Looney Tunes was sometimes what? It's on top. Yeah. Episode 1. I know a lot of people, when they watch tutorial videos, they watch the first... Sometimes, oh, I did know that, yes. I don't know if I want to steer the topic to racism, though. I really don't want to turn Twitch chat into into that, to have that be the topic, but I did know that. Let's see. 
battle each rival three times in each mountains. So the mountains are not ordered. You can go in any direction you want. Um, that's why I'm introducing, or rather I'm having gonna... Not introducing, what am I saying? I'm gonna have scaling. So depending, like, no matter what order you go, the Pokemon are gonna be around your level. I'll tweak it, though, so that way it eventually ends up being better and better, because right now it's gonna be kind of rough. The scaling's not gonna be that great. Okay. So let's do another puzzle over here where maybe this one can be tiled. Revolutions. Um, it'll just be. It'll just be whatever Pokemon they have, it'll be that, but scaled up. So there's a chance that they'll have Pokemon that are evolved too early or not evolved late. Yeah, that'll be one of my upcoming topics, scaling. I don't know, should we get... Yeah, so, um... It's really just a formula where you can just mess with the numbers. I'm top tier... Oh, yeah, you're definitely... You are definitely top tier. You're gonna, you're gonna be top tier for a while. I doubt anyone's gonna, like, dethrone you anytime soon. You've, uh... You've got it in the bag, man. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so I want this to be more interesting than just a straight line, but I also want to do have another bridge here. So this switch will need to be a little lower. Cool. Oh, what if I did it like... Hmm. I don't want it to be, like, too much backtracking, so maybe I could have it so that way there's, like, you hit the switch and then you can get back to the beginning faster. Ayo, hey, Remstream, what's up? Welcome. Do you know any sort of coding? Well, I do know C Sharp. Um, I did take some classes on, like, Java, JavaScript, and such in college. Um, it's really more of a... I know it the more I familiarize myself with the individual project. It's, like on a per project basis. So I, I've made games for myself in Unity and C Sharp and stuff before. I did major in computer game science at University of California, Irvine, UCI. See, I've done coding. Okay, have this go on over six stuff. All right. So, right now this floor kind of sucks, because I want this to be like a gauntlet where you have to go through the electrical gates, but I also don't want it to require too much intense backtracking. Maybe I can make a warp tile, where you can warp back to the beginning. That could be cool. Maybe I can introduce that to them early. Yeah, I'll make a tile puzzle here, where they're introduced to warp early. If you're ever making an indie game, I would make an indie game. I'd be down. I would definitely be down to do that. There we go. We'll make a dumb little floor tile puzzle here. Where it alternates between on and off for the warp. You leaving now? Everyone have a good night? Alright, good night, Ultra Super Saiyan Blue. You have a good night, man. Seven days a week, or do you have one day off? I have five. I mean, I have. I go there five days, and I have the normal weekends off. That might change, though. My work schedule could potentially change. It it all depends. Um, there is a possibility that I'll have overtime, maybe sometime in like the next month. I don't know though. And if I'm on overtime, I won't be able to stream. Two bruises. Oh, that'd be kind of interesting. I'd be down. Also. Am I late? Hey, Pikachu with the cookie. Um, maybe like an hour, but don't worry. There hasn't been too much going on. It's just been a chill stream. Welcome, man. I don't know if I want to do stuff with other YouTubers, though. I don't know. Let's see. So this is fixed. I can make it so that way, the way it works is... Hmm. Color tiles, did you explain? Yes! 
Um, bl blue ones are passable, red ones are impassable, yellow ones are forced wild encounters, and these pinkish purple ones are warp tiles that'll warp you back. How long is each stream going to be? It's, it all depends on how I'm feeling. This one might be like two hours. <laughs> Professor Frankly, you need to work on your typing, man. I'm noticing a lot of grammatical errors. Just slow down. There's no rush. There's no rush. Slow it down. Let's make it so that way this one has a switch. And the switch is... One of these. There's all these yellow encounters and stuff. Let's make this one just around here. Or friends and stuff? I guess. My friends aren't really as into Pokemon games as I am, though. Aren't usually not as good. Yeah. I mean, collabing with Twitch chat's kind of cool. I mean, it, it would also be nice to collab with my friends, but none of my friends are really into Pokemon like I am. I don't there's two. I think you're pretty good, XD Fever. Am I saying your name right? Is it... Is it XDF forever, or can I just say XD forever? Let's see, we'll call this Warp 1. We'll make more typos. Yeah, I, um... Uh, you gotta have that, uh... Correct on, I forget what it is. But let's make this so that way, if the conditional branch Warp 1 is on... On player touch... It'll say, show text, you stepped on on a warp panel. And then it'll play a sound effect as it warps you away. Is this one? I need to listen to what the good one is. Bad. Oh, yeah. That one's all right. Is this one good? Like how you roll? Hey, yeah. So I'm 100% happy with it. Yeah, I like that too. It's um, it's something that I had to learn over time though, from working on other Pokemon games. Um, it, I've had people like try to take charge, and I say no. This is my game. If you want it so bad, you make your own game. Um, it's it's important sometimes because you need to like you need to whip people. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that you like that. Cause I need, I'm. That's how I'm gonna be. That's how I roll. <laughs> Will I download sound effects? Maybe. I don't know. Swinging by for a sec. Oh. Well. I hope you have a good night, BKB. Thank you for swinging by. Yeah. Well, now your now your grammar's pretty good, Professor. Frankly. Now I can buy one stick of gum. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna buy that gum, dude. All right. Where do you get your music from? Um. I just download it from the internet. I just, like, if I want to get a song from Pokemon Black and White, I just, like, Google it. Important for game development. It's extremely important. I learned that a lot through college. Um, if you, if you're a lead on a project, you need to be extremely, extremely uh, good at explaining your vision and getting people in line with your vision and making sure that they conform to your vision. It, otherwise, if you give them too much freedom, they're gonna you're gonna end up with a shit game unfortunately that's because you're gonna have too many cooks in the kitchen if you've heard that expression you need to be the head chef and you need to say no we're making alfredo we're not adding we're not adding syrup or whatever you want to add over here we're not adding you know crab and fish and chicken and some beef you know i'm just putting the chicken only this is my dish this is my dish <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. That'd be interesting to make a game that incorporates Twitch chat, but I'm not comfortable programming with the, uh, with the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Amazon actually has a game engine that's, like, made for integrating with Twitch chat. That'd be cool to look into, but I don't, uh, I don't know at this time. So, let's see. Switch on, and then it'll, let's see, change opacity to be full, and then wait, maybe... 30 frames and then switch off 165 change opacity down to zero and then wait 30 frames cool so now I've got ourselves a little warpo and we need to make a little landing spot I don't know what to do tile set wise though for the landing spot this will be a little tricky 
Such as maps. Um, that'd be kind of interesting. Have like a Pokemon fan game where a bunch of people just participate and it's like we piece it together. That'd be kind of funny. Just like, what can you get from a fan game? That's my two cents. <laughs> That's funny. Let's make this the warp return. And I need to make sure that that's passable. It is not. I'll make it so it is. And there's no priority on it. Terrain is zero. Cool. Nice. So that'll be where you land. Yeah, it would definitely be important to start from scratch. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be kind of like a Twitch makes Pokemon, you know? That'd be cool. Like a joke game. Yeah, it would, it would have to be not too serious. It could work, though. It could work. Okay, let's have this go down a little bit more. Alright. Copy. Cool. Yeah, lots of fake month sprites in a huge region, etc. Yeah, that would, that would be pretty cool to eventually do. Let's see. So this one needs to be the opposite. So let's do a move route for this one. Where it just does the f second half first and the first half second. Cool. And then I can copy this and paste this here. And um, I can also incorporate a, an event. Let's, let's test it though. Let's test it. Let's pause our song and let's take a look. Yeah, I think that'd be amazing. Just to get everyone in. Twitch plays Pokemon Whack. Ha! <laughs> That's a great game. Have to use yeah, we definitely have to use the default tile set so that way everyone can participate. You wrote a theme song. Ooh, let's take a look. Twitch makes Pokemon Whack 2. So I kinda do want to make a spiritual successor to Pokemon Whack, and I want to call it Pokemon Garbage. And essentially it would be everyone Like we could all come up with Pokemon and it's just shit drawn in Microsoft Paint. I think that'd be fun. Crystal Gem, what's up? Welcome. How you doing? It's the wrong bridge! Kairoshiro's gonna murder me. This is a... Oh, what? Oh, it's because I'm not using different switches. That's an easy enough fix. But, like, uh, make a Pokemon game where every single Pokemon is drawn like Pokemon Whack, where you just go into Paint, you select the Pencil tool, and then you go to work. Uh, maybe select... There we go, here's my Pokemon. His name is uh, Play-Doh Boy. He's a boy made out of Play-Doh. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm chilling. How you doing? Good, I fell asleep, but welcome now I'm wide awake. Hey, nice, perfect stream time. <laughs> Could make a background. Ooh, okay. So this one should control. This one should be based on warp two. And the next one will need to be warp. The next one can be warp two as well, since they're uh, they're on the same frequency. This could look like that's fine as long as you have an idea, like a concept, like in your head. Then someone else can turn it into art. That's fine too. Silly though. What the judges use? Like, I know the theme is trees. Oh, uh, threes, but you get extra points for new forms. I don't know. I don't think you get... I don't know. If you make it so there's a Pokemon that does have three forms, and that's, like, their thing, and they switch between the three, that'd be kind of cool. Like a Pokemon game just surrounding that Pokemon. That'd be a good That'd be a good thing. But I don't know how the judges judge. I know who the judges are, but I don't know what their style is interestingly enough the one of the one of the three judges i've talked to personally well just like private message on discord it's like small little conversation it's it's nothing really substantial and the other judge that i know of is one whose tutorials i started watching to get me going so i, I think that's cool read it for bits sent the theme song oh boy in discord <laughs> read it for bits oh no don't treat me like i'm a dancing monkey don't don't do that Dance, monkey, dance for the bits. Oh, it's still messed up. It's still not working properly. Warp 2 is on. 
Custom move routes. Atomic reactor. Yeah, atomic reactor. He's the guy. He's the one. So off. On. So only if it's on. Huh. Why isn't this working? Serve them. Oh, thank you, Andrew Forsberg. Idea. Fusion between the three birds? Oh, I, that might be a little too complex. I don't know, though. This camera is all you need. <laughs> that, I think that'd be cool to be a judge on the Game Jam also, but I'm not a, I'm not really affiliated with Relic Castle in any way. That would be cool, though. So, why is this not working? It only works if, when you step on it, Warp 2 is on. Is it because the other one was turning it on at a different time? I think it's because the events were running at different times. So this needs to have its own time then. So that means it needs to have its own switch then. So let's make warp three. It's important if they're all running at different times that they all have different switches. Otherwise you run into the issue that I just had. So this needs to be 167. This needs to be 167 as well. Cool, so now it should work. Now it should be good. Wow, like years. Yeah. Me too. It was like two, one and a half years ago or two years? It was a while ago. All right. So now this should be working just fine. I should make a more complex puzzle than just a straight line. Like, uh... Let's do something like this instead, where it goes like that, and then like that. So now we can have a little bit more complexity. Duke, duke, duke. And uh, maybe I should add a trainer on one of these. What if it was like that instead? Actually, let's make it like, let's play some music and let's think about what we're going to do here. Because I think the warp, the warp crystals are, I mean the warp, not crystals, the warp uh, events are pretty cool. It could just be like that, maybe, or it could it could be like that too. So you could battle trainers. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend too long on it. <laughs> Let's see. So something like this, something like this, something like this, or something like that. And let's do a tr let's do an encounter one on this. I could actually just make this a forced encounter. Uh, I don't know. And then there should be a trainer standing here. And you go like that. There we go. So if there's a trainer there, he has a vision of one. He's a forced battle. Yeah. So something like that. And let's put an encounter square there. So let's copy from the one below. One thing that's interesting is since it's running at a, on a different map, I think it's okay if I just copy one of these and paste it on this. And I need—I do need to edit it a little bit, but it can—it can run on this, because it's just a different. Uh, let's see, not 80. Let's make it so it's 40. And 40. Or should it be 30, 30 also? Maybe it should be 20, 20. I'll be fast. So you got to be fast if you want to avoid it. Nice. Let's uh, test it now. See how it looks. Snaps. Oh. Oh, it got me. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I still need to set the uh, battle backs. Or, no, I didn't set the metadata for this map. That's the problem. I need to make slightly tweaked battle backs, but yeah, these pink, these pink purple ones are very important to uh, not hit. There we go, and then you can battle. Cool, it's working. I was in a band in high school. I played bass guitar. I was like boom, boom, pick a boom, 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 boom. Know what I'm saying? Nice. So let's just test all the warp panels. Make sure they all work around what I've intended.
Nice. What if I step on it and then it switches? Okay. Let's see. Do I have a loop? I don't. Um, so the battle music will just kind of fade out. It's not perfect. Music and Seinfeld. What songs did I play? We did cover some rock songs, but we also wrote our own original songs. They were pretty good, actually. Or unless you're talking to someone else. <laughs> Update the sprite. Ooh. Barefoot. If you want to take a job? Okay. Big strong man like you. <laughs> I'm not that strong. Let's see. Ooh, update. Let's go, though. Okay, yeah, I might need to try my hand at the flip-flops. Yeah, he's got the grin. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Uh, can you make it 128 by 128 pixels? Oh, yeah, the, other, the only other thing that I would say is maybe make it so the hand is collapsing down on the Pokeball more. Um, so it looks more like he's holding it in his hand. Maybe, maybe just raise the entire Pokeball by one pixel and see how that looks. Um, but yeah, the flip-flops, we'll need to figure that out. Who's good at spriting flip-flops? What rock songs did we cover? Uh, we covered, uh, oh, this is a good rack Whackmon. Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks like a po that looks like something from Pokemon Whack, honestly. That'd be great for Pokemon Garbage. Make it 128 by 128 pixels or whatever the, the Pokemon uh, format is. Start collecting your garbage now. <laughs> but we covered, uh, let's see, we covered Reptilia by The Strokes. Um, the Middle by Jimmy Eat World. Uh, Cute Without the E by uh, Taking Back Sunday. Um... What else did we cover? Well, it's funny, actually. We wrote a song that was an original song, but then it ended up sounding exactly like Cute Without the E. We covered some Hawthorne Heights. It was around that time in our lives when we were all just emo youngins. I'm going to listen to emo music because I'm so emotional. You know, just bullshit. <laughs> it was funny. A7X. Yeah, um, one of our band members was really into Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, I don't think we... Like, Avenged Sevenfold was a little bit too out of our wheelhouse, though. They're a little bit too talented, musically. So. Um, we listened to a lot of Avenged Sevenfold, but we didn't, we didn't cover any. I liked playing bass, though. It was fun. I remember there was one time we were at band practice, and one of our, one our my my friend and guitarist, and the guitarist of the band. If I do streams with my friends, this guy will probably show up in them. If you go and watch Three Bro Show, he's one of the original Three Bros. His name is Sean. He was uh, the guitarist of our band. He likes we stopped band practice so he could show us the music video for uh, what's what was it? Afterlife. It like just came out at that time. Sinister, yeah, Sinister Gates. It's 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 too intense. Bum, bum, bum. Chapter 4. I like Chapter 4 a lot. We could have. Chapter 4. Chapter 4 goes, uh, do 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 Spell it T-H-R-E-E-B-R-O-S-H-O-W. That's where, if you want to see really cringy Let's Plays involving me, that's that's the gold mine. That's the that's the the number one place to go for cringy Let's Plays featuring me. Critical Acclaim was banger. Yeah, I, I started not liking Avenged Sevenfold as much later on, but I, I gotta admit that they're they're very talented. Yeah, this is this is pretty good for his battle sprite. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know, his hand, I, I, maybe I liked it better before, it's hard to say. But, yeah, this is getting really good. There's some, f a few small tweaks that I'll need to make, but I can make them. Um, but yeah, I think in general this is getting really good. I need to figure out the flip-flops, though, that'll be a little tricky, but yeah. One, if you make it the exact, uh, dimensions, then we can get going. I stopped listening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I stopped listening around that time also. It feels bad, man. That sucks. I remember my friend, another one of my friends, he was the fourth guy that showed up on 3Bro Show. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense that there was four, but uh, 
uh, my friend Robert. I don't, you might remember him, Poketate, actually, Robert. Some people might remember him. He showed up on a couple of my streams also. He was on my, he showed up on my 12-hour stream, if you guys watched that when I was playing Mario 64. Uh, he showed me, like, lot vlogs that Event Sevenfold did, and the rev was, like, really funny. ba ba boom Broom. Let's see. Remember him? Okay, yeah, you remember. <laughs> Grapes in the white. Did he actually say that? Oh, boy. Yeah. I like the song a lot. Did show you that one? He might. He might have. He might have. Ben BJ, what's up? Welcome. Ben, how you doing, man? So let's uh, let's do one final tile puzzle down here. So medium. I mean, easy, medium, hard, and then that'll be the end of the floor. So I think I'm using the wrong tile. Am I using? I'm always using the wrong bridge. I'm gonna make sure that this works. I'm gonna test it. I I need to start freaking testing. My gosh dang bridge maps. Grapes in the mouth. Oh, that sounds pretty good. It's kind of surreal, isn't it, that people who have died like you can just watch videos of them back, you know, when they were like recording on YouTube and stuff. Show. That's all that showed up. Oh no! So can you type it all as one word and then go to YouTube, maybe? Videos? But yeah, that's the uh, that's the gold mine of cringe. If you want to watch bad videos featuring me. Alright. Up, up, up. Whoop, whoop. Let's see. Dun, dun. Great singer, he was. I liked uh, his backup singing in, uh, what was it, Little Piece of Heaven? Is that what the name of the song is? Little Slice of Heaven? Ah, shoot, I forgot what it was. The backup singing in that's really good. His backup singing in Afterlife was really good. From this afterlife. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Little P7, that's what it was, yeah. He was a good singer. Um uh, Go down. Over. Down. Pass can do the song. Let's see, Lavar City? I mean I guess I could. Just to just to prove Professor Frankly wrong. For being so pessimistic. Here you go, I'll play the song. Is this song chill? This sounds like This sounds like a Kingdom Hearts song also. This sounds like a Kingdom Hearts song as well. Both of them? Ooh, so I can pick. Let me take a look. Let's see. I think I like the first one better. Thank you, man. This is pretty good. 128 by 128. It's pretty good. We just need to add flip-flops to our boy. <laughs> Where am I going again? Here we go. This is pretty good. So Roy is 74. So we can potentially work on editing him right now. Maybe. Bum bum. Boom. <laughs> that face should be a Whackamon. That'd be amazing. Put that guy in po put that guy in Pokemon garbage. That'd be amazing if he was one of the starters. <laughs> I mean, I've I've complete control over the game, so this hype this hypothetical game that doesn't exist that would be funny and also awful. Is this it? Let's see. Is this it? Yeah, that's that's our channel. That's really bad. Um, that pro tip spy was made by my friend Ryan, 
It's a... It's a... It's a video, alright. Garbage or garbage? Uh, garbage. Garbaggy. The final boss of the game. Oh, that'd be amazing. The final boss of the game is that face. Let's see. Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba. Garbage. Here we go. So first things first, we need to get make him transparent as well as rotate him. Let me make sure that my settings are good. Um, I need to go edit preferences. Garbage. Yeah. There we go. So that's the right setting. Cool. Let's um, let's do my little trick I like to do. I think that's good. There we go. So now we got our guy. We got our we got our boy named Roy. Sword is burning. No, I'm not. So let's see. There's one tile title tile pixel down here. I want to get rid of. There's some other like little little dark ones right here. Maybe maybe one of these. It's a tough call. I have to keep like zooming out and zooming in. Do, 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 do. Not the very good, Mr. McGee. Do you want the credits? Just curious. Um, I think it's gonna be tricky. Actually, I need to talk with you guys about this because the rule is only four people per team, and if I've gotten help from more than four people, then I don't know what to do for the credits. Hmm. It'll be a little tricky to figure out. Bum bum bum. So how do I do flip flops for this boy? Hmm. See, <laughs> lots of Minecraft. Oh my god. Yeah. Definitely don't subscribe to them. Maybe they'll make a comeback. No, they never will. They never will, I promise. They're buried. Although I might record videos with Ryan in the future. Ryan and I might hang out and play games. It looks almost like a flip flop. Ooh, you're working on for Pokemon garbage. Oh, nice. It's gonna be great, Dad. Yeah, that I told you it's a gold mine of cringe, dude. It's a gold mine. If you want to cringe at people trying to be funny but actually ultimately not being funny at all, then there you go. Feed your hands. I'm actually really bad as well. Why is this off by one? What is that? Is everything just slid over? There we go. That'll make it easier for me to... Hmm. Do -do -do. Gears. Yes. I told you, if you want to cringe, there's where you go. Uh, this still doesn't look that great. It looks amazing. No. It's terrible. I react to that channel. No, I don't want to do react videos on my channel. Uh, does it look worse with that or better? It's hard to see.
Hmm. Look better before? It looks okay like that, maybe? Without the outline. Put some socks. Do a stream reaction to my old videos. Oh, just do it on stream. Alright, maybe at the end of the stream. We'll see. It's like the videos are us all trying to be too hard. That kind of guy. Yeah. Though you can't you can't buy me, man. You can't buy me. Okay. Well, I mean maybe you can. If you're a millionaire. Okay. Hmm. This is tough. Oh! The bits! Gucci flops? Hell yeah! My Gucci flops! My Gucci sneaks and my Gucci flaps! Maybe they should be a little bit bigger. Let's see. Tell me you're British. Oi! Why did you get that impression, you bloke? I don't know. That was awful. You cheeky wanker. What a fuck? What a fuck you say to me, mate? I stab your gob. The bits. Little bits. Um. This leg just looks too much like a straight line now. What do I do to combat this? I need to have it, like, maybe go in on these two. No, I need to have it go in a little bit earlier. Maybe around the knee. And then I took an arrow in the knee. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Up one more, I think. And let's do something like this, actually. Like that, maybe? Nah, that's even worse. Does it, need, does it need to go up even higher? That's not the knee, actually. What am I thinking? The knee is, like, all the way up there. That might be too high now. Yeah. I'm fucking with his feet a little too much. Maybe I could just do it really low. See how that looks. No, that doesn't look good either. I think it looked fine like that. This is tough. Let's do this. Let's do, like, a little bit of inverse action going on. Looks okay, maybe. I need to work on the shading around the leg. That's tough. So I think- I told you! I told you it was. Oh, that's bad if I do it like that. How does this leg do it? Hmm. Oh, well, I think I'll just keep it like this for now. Looks okay. Let's see. He's got the raised eyebrow. What if we do this? No.
Nah. Oh, this will work for now. How can I send you? Um, send via Discord, yeah, or like direct message or something. But yeah, so we should be able to fight Roy now and actually have it show up. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, one thing I was gonna do also that was gonna look really cool is uh, do some artwork for our characters' battle intros. There's Roy. So she looks a little bit bigger. Who did the art for her? Let's see. Raise it one pixel. Did it look better? Good. It's easy for me. Hmm. I don't know. It's tough. It sucks because, like, it's nice to have a lot of variety for the people, but also, like, Maybe I should have people do it all in one style, like have one person do it in the same style. I don't know. That's not very funny, Hunter. Um, maybe I should. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll compile a list of stuff I have and need. I'll do that right now, actually. Make a new one. Let's see. Um. So let's go. Male character, OW, uh, we'll call that finished. Male character, battle, not started. Female, character overworld, We'll call that finished for now. Female character battle not started. We'll call this uh, art list. Also, I should put a list of who did them. Because if I have too many people on my credits, that might that might not I might not be allowed to submit my game to the game jam if I have too many people in my credits. So if some people have submitted art and only done one to I like one pixel, I mean like one art, suck oh God one file, I might have to remove it, which would suck, which would suck. Roy Overworld finished. He did that as well. Roy battle. I'll call it, it's in the tweakable phase. That was Mr. McGee. What do you want to be in the credits as? Hey dude, that one Snapdragon, what's up? Hey, welcome, how you doing? Hello, hello. Sasha OW. It's in the in the tweakable phase. Uh, Sasha battle. I don't know who did that one. I don't remember. Finished. That's why I need people to help. Was that Kitsuna? I think that was Kitsuna. Um, Sierra OW. That's Michael. I also want a Sierra battle sprite. Professor Sierra battle. Not started. As well. Nice. That's awesome. It's way chill. It is pretty dang chill. It's a lot of fun to just like hang out, and make maps. That's cool. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta use Photoshop or uh, Paint.net or GIMP or I like Photoshop. But yeah, making it in Paint is actually pretty impressive. I think. Um, I think Darkrai made his sprites in paint, and he's he's done a pretty damn good job. You've seen some of Darkrai's work, right? Hmm. 
No, battlers. Graphic scale, it's amazing. Ooh, okay. Some of these are pretty gosh dang good. I like this little guy's eyes. Some good stuff. Okay, let's uh do our art list again. Let's see what else do we need. Um, battle. I've received some stuff, so I guess we'll say we're in the tweakable phase. Um, Volcano OW, also tweakable, so it's not finalized. Let's see. The bird and bear? Oh! You're talking about Banjo-Kazooie? I love Banjo-Kazooie. I love the game. Um, Blake Overworld. I guess using the tweakable phase as well. I received some stuff for Blake's battle, so he's in the tweakable. Basically, it's not final, but I received some art. How do I show you something I made? Oh, like a like a Pokemon game? With fake mons? Oh yeah, those are from um The Fake Mon, those are from uh Pokemon Title. But that game's still Lucho work in progress though. What? I see I've received a battle sprite, but it's still like very tweakable. And I think what I did receive a new overworld for Watt, so I could take a look at that and see if that goes in the game. And I don't think I have concept art for the professor. We might need that. Alright, what was I gonna do? Okay. Uh let's open Discord. And let's check it out. Yeah, I did receive new art from Senor Bombos, aka Michael. I don't know if I like the gla the glasses on top, because the professor also has glasses. He might be better without the glasses. Other than that, though, he looks pretty good. His hair is very Surge-esque. But the, the coat and everything is pretty good. Hmm. Bring title back. Well, after the game jam, I might. I'm Remember, I'm still game jamming right now. Battle picks art for leaders. Ooh, when you're not tired. Oh, awesome. That sounds good, Crystal Gem. Um, let me know. Because I also have the list here. Um, you can private message me anytime if you uh, if you don't know um, like what's still open. But yeah, pixel art. If, if, if you try it and it looks really good, then uh, that would be really awesome. Let's see. What overworlds? Let's see. Uh, how does this compare to the one that we already have? Because the one we already have could just be finished then. Because our Watt battle art, I mean, our Watt overworld is actually pretty good. Good morning. Good morning, Daniel. Welcome. How you doing? Our Blake overworld's pretty good too. But I don't know if it's perfect yet. That is pretty decent though. This one still needs some tweaking. The color of the hair and the one line, I don't like as much. I don't like one lines, you know. Um, let's see. She needs work. Because it doesn't match her battle sprite anymore. Um, him, he's pretty good. It's not perfect. I don't know. Hey, what's up, Togo? Welcome. Ooh. Let's see. This looks okay. I think he's he's pretty good right now with what we already have. I kind of like him. I kind of like this. Yeah. So let's mark Watt as done. Oh, finished. Sorry. I need to type finished. There we go. 
so before ah it's very good or very bad i would say just look at stuff that's already been done um for other trainers they're a good example but oh, to answer your question twiggle the koala i did do some maps i've only done one map actually i'm working on my second map need work to the arc uh to the sure yeah i can add them to the archive a little tired oh, i know that feel daniel welcome welcome either way we're gonna just be chilling tonight mm-hmm mm-hmm So let's have this go, yeah, like that. And we could do this, actually. Make it so that way there's like an item being blocked by this little thing and you could hit a switch to turn it off. That'd be a little interesting, wouldn't it? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so I need to figure out the exact path I want them to go down. So there'll be a switch down here that you hit. Hmm. Okay. And let's figure out our exact path. Something like this. And yeah, I can make it so you have to fight another trainer like that. There we go. That looks okay. I'm sure it's the morning right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, for where I'm at, it's nighttime. Okay, so let's do some switches. Okay, let's copy from the layer, I mean the floor beneath. Copy an old electric gate switch. Uh, this one. Or not electric, that's not electric gate, that's tile. Here's electric. There we go. Oh, it's noon over there? Oh, nice. Yeah, for me it's like late night. Can I email some? You can. I would say it'd be easier to just go on Discord and send them to me in a private message. That'd probably be better. The trainers, I think they'll start at 5. It might be interesting to move them up to start at like 10, but right now it's just uh, just 5. Let's see. So this should be, what, elect gate 14 then? Cool. Yeah, it's 11.18 here in Cali. So that's elect gate 14. So this needs to be electrical gate 14. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Stay for six hours. I didn't know that. I just saw that fact. 36 hours staying up without light. Weird. Is that like proven by people like living in caves or something? Callie. It's pretty cool here. I mean, it's pretty warm. I don't know. The YouTube thing doesn't really matter to me. It's like I don't really care about LA and YouTube and all that crap. All these vine stars. I'm gonna be vine famous, you guys. Let's um let's do this. Yeah, people living in caves, that was it? Okay. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum. How do you know? Oh, because I know things, baby. Let's see. So look at 15. Oh, okay. See, that's a, that's a better reason to move. <laughs> Let's see. 15. 15. 15. Very nice. So then this one should be 15. Oh, wait. I can't see it then. I want it to be you see it when you hit it, so this needs to move. Boom. Yeah, this is 15. Maybe I'll put it like that, and then you can like hit a switch. Let's do this. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. So 
So we'll have to do a tile puzzle switch here. Is adding sound type too cliche? Maybe. It might be too cliche. Although, do what you want to do, baby. Tile puzzle 5. Tile plus five. Tile plus five. Cool. Music this sounds chill. It's Lavare City from Pokemon X and Y. I may have pronounced it wrong though. Well, yeah, it sounds pretty chill. So, when you turn tile plus five on, then it disappears. So by default. This is red, but then when tile plus five is on, then it disappears. Cool. So now I can do some more warp tile stuff as well. And this one needs to have its own warp just because all the timings are off and weird for these. Where's my warps? There they are. Let's make warp four. And I think I'll also need to make warp five because I'll want another warp on this. And I'll also make warp six because I want another warp on this. This place is going to be annoying for players. It's also annoying for game makers. There we go. So warp four. So that's switch 168. Set it so the move route affects 168 instead. Cool. Cool. There we go. And uh, let's make it so that way this one is... I think 30 is okay. Cool. Let's see. Maybe this should also be event touch. And then I'll have to do a uh, exit event processing, maybe. And I might need to copy that logic over. If I make this event touch and then do exit event processing, I'll need to test this and see how this works. Because th essentially what this will do is make it so that way it warps you even when it pops up underneath you. So, let's see. I'm here. Ninja, what's up? Welcome. No worry. You are, you are welcome, man. Thank you for swinging by, dude. So that turns off that gate. He's god dang blinking. No! Oh! Okay, let's um Let's test our second puzzle. Let's save here. And let's just see how it works. Let's see how the event processing works. It should work where I stand underneath, and then even when it pops up, then it works. Yeah, so now I'm just stuck. It, or it does it twice. So I need to fix that. If I can do an exit event processing. Um, why did that happen? Why did that happen? Discretion. Uh-oh. Linking videos. Borderline NSFW. Videos are definitely helping. I think awesome. I'm glad that it helps, Daniel. If you uh, make a demo, send it my way and I'll try it. Send the picture. What do you think? Ooh, let me open my Discord and take a look. Did you send it on Discord or Twitter? When's the next video coming? Uh, I don't know. I think I might start working on it Saturday. Since I'm focusing on the game jam, though, the, the tutorials are not my focus. I hope that makes sense. Is Snowbell good? This is pretty good. It's pretty chill. Discord, okay. I don't see it yet. Or did you send it in the art uh, chat? Uh, I don't see it sent directly to me. Or maybe I need to add you as a friend. Hmm. I don't see it yet. So this exit event processing thing isn't working. Why does it not work, though? Break loop, potentially? I don't think that'll work, either. Hmm. I could just make it jump to label outside where it breaks event processing, but that's kind of sloppy. I'll just do player touch. I think that's fine. Ooh. 
My phone went beep beep. Yeah. All right. Sick. Let's try it now. Let's try it now. Clue music like a skeleton MIDI. Oh god. I'll uh. I'll try to make it get really weird and out there eventually. That's a good question though. Not the MIDI. <laughs> The freaking, uh, the skeleton midi actually, like, ruined me. I hated that so much. No! Oh. Sound... Really? When my phone... That's what it sounds like? Hmm. So these warp panels are kind of a pain. Uh, for players. So what I'll do is I'll uh, maybe institute a new warp. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Let's do this. Where this goes like this instead. So that way this, this trainer battle is mandatory still. There we go. <laughs> I hated that skeleton midi. How do you get ranks? Uh, just just uh, hang out and uh, participate and you'll eventually rank up. I kind of don't like the ranks. I might remove them. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. So this will be warp 5. Boom, bada bada, boom, bada bada. Let's see. Let's um make this the next one, which is warp five, and make this one, which is warp five. Cool. And follow Pokemon. Yeah, the follow Pokemon script is super buggy, unfortunately. I can't think of the best way to, uh, fix it. Maybe this one should warp you somewhere else. Maybe I can make another warp panel, like, here. Or, like, here. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't really do anything. I don't know why I did that. Just glitched. Yeah, follow Pokemon definitely will add glitches. Into the art channel? Alright. I'll take a look sees in the arts channel. Oh. Toxitube. That looks a little bit too good for Pokemon garbage. <laughs> huh. Let me uh, let me show it to the stream real quick. Hello stream. It's Toxitube. It looks too good for Pokemon Whack, also. So it's like Poison Steel, I guess? Yeah. If you fall asleep, welcome back, Crystal Gem. <laughs> Sleepy. So this will warp you back here. At events. This one will warp you back here. So that way it's not too much of a crazy pain in the ass. That way I can afford to make the puzzles a little bit more difficult. Oh no. Paste. So it'll only be off for 20 frames. And then it'll be on for 40 frames. Cool. So now what I need to do is copy and paste and make it so that way this moves you this one uses the next switch, which is warp six. And then the move route will need to be a little bit different. It should still be... Let's see... Do I put a... I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Let's do a weight of 10 at the beginning. And drop this to a weight of 30. That way it'll be the same difference, whatever, but it'll be uh, 10 frames off. That'll make this a pretty tricky puzzle, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna poison steel. Just poison it. Oh, okay. Powered by melting brains. Of the small children watching Minecraft videos on YouTube. 
Let's see. Turn on off. Yeah. Um, follow Pokemon, you can turn on and off by default uh, when you install the script. If you do press control, then it'll work. I don't know if, if pressing control is causing an issue for you right now, then the there's like a bug. But by default, that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> YouTube.com. Oh, man. My dang channel. Okay. Have that go like that. And then this move route will be the next one, which is 171. 171. Cool. And then this will need to be 20, and then the other one will need to be 20. That's why I want to do event touch, although this will be really hard to do now. Let's see how it looks. Let's test Arena, shall we? Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, I could also make it so that way that opens up that. That'd be cool. There we go. Nice. Adpocalypse. Let's see, how to enable mouse on the game menu? Um, there is a plugin you can get from Luca SJ where it does mouse stuff. Does my game use mouse stuff right now? You know, scripting a good fall script. Okay, yeah. Hopefully you can get good help. It'll be it'll be pretty tough. Okay, I had to disable the mouse stuff. Okay, now let's do some, uh... I kind of want to do more encounter stuff, but I also kind of don't. Um... What do I do here now? Let's do maybe more some Switch. Does the game have Elite Battle System? It does, yes. My game is absolutely going to have Elite Battle System. I love that plugin. It's a beautiful plugin. Maybe have it go all the way to like over here, which then opens up this. There we go. Uh, maybe something like that. No, maybe something like this. Is tough. Want me to do? Um, I don't know. I wanna. I wanna do all the PBS myself. I appreciate the the offer though. I want to be the PBS master. Looking for excuses. Oh, yeah, I'll be the uh, the PBS guy this time. Let's see. Maybe these should all be warp also, like three warps. Let's see. This will be tile puzzle six. God, I need to make so many switches. I I wish I could just do self switches in move routes, but unfortunately I can't. At least maybe maybe I could if I looked hard at her. Best tile sets for free. I don't know. I actually haven't downloaded too many free tile sets. Maybe the one from Pokemon Black and White 2 mod. Can you help me? Yes. Ask away. In general, you should just a just ask the question. That's that's how I feel. Eventually there's going to be some people that say, "Hey, I have a question." Just just ask. I'm definitely down to help. I'm definitely down to help. The PBS is my real test. To script them is my cause. To draw something on MS Paint and I named it. Uh oh. Sounds spooky. Let's see. Would I rather have to do the metadata and map connections through PBS or through the debug? Uh, metadata through debug. Map connections through debug as well. I prefer doing map connections through debug. Map connections through PBS might actually be kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, you're asking? Are you are, are, are you asking him? Let's try. Oh, the PBS file is my task. Okay. I'll send the picture to Discord. All right, send it. Pokemon Trainer underscore Leaf. Is that your question? I don't get it. I think I helped you with the trainer before, didn't I? It's just a simple formatting issue, probably. Probskis. Warp 7. So we need to make warp 8. Do I have enough room for it? I have enough room. 8, 9, 10. I barely have enough room, though. 
eight, nine, ten. Cool. So this uses warp eight. I wish I could just make them all use the same switch, but unfortunately I can't due to tiny differences. Um, and let's make it so that way these go maybe 16, 16. So you have to have pretty decent reaction time. So that's eight. This is nine. So it needs to be this one now. These these types of rooms always end up taking a lot longer than the other rooms. And then this will be ten. Yay. Good stuff. So that's the switch. Good morning. Good morning, Ragoxetana. What's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Alright, let's test our dang old puzzle now. See how it looks. Come on, baby. Look at all these gosh damn warp tiles. Oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> if that was a vent touch, that would just be impossible. Is it even possible without? No, it's not. I think I sent it. I think I saw it. Let me take a look. Oh, wow. That's a long-ass direct message. Holy crap. I see it, though. I see it. Oh. Huh. What am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just chilling. It's my theme. Oh boy. <laughs> it's a long theme. Alright. I'll have to read it. Uh, I don't want to sing it though. Bridge on. Bridge on, 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 bridge on. Maybe I can make this go over. What real Pokemon games am I playing? I'm not really playing any. I'm not really much of a Pokemon player. I'm more of a maker myself. The last one I played was Sun and Moon. Um, I don't really play any other regulars. Favorite fan game? Ah, uh, Pokemon Whack. <laughs> I don't know. I need to play more fan games. I need to do more playthroughs of fan games. But right now I'm just uh, doing my game jam. You know, the huge Burr John. Okay. John Burr. Wow. Let's see. Apply. One last one. The only reason I have to do this is because of the dang, uh... I mean, actually, I didn't need to do that. But I'm doing it anyway. Cool. Is there an Elite Four? Right now, no. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm not gonna do an Elite Four. So no evil teams, no Elite Fours. Yeah, right now it's just the Summits. I'll worry about other stuff later, but uh, yeah, right now my entire focus is just do the mountain challenge. Because if I add an Elite Four, that's just adding even more art that needs to be done, and I'm kind of not into that. Because it's easy to get some okay art, but it's, it's really hard to get like really good art that you're like super, super super confident in. I'm gonna, like, release the game and then end up being like, eh. 
What I have so far is pretty decent, but it's not like super, you know. Bye, man. All right, I'll see you, ninja. The story, right? The story is pretty tough, especially if you want to make a good story. Making a bad story is easy. Just check out Pokemon Paradox. Bazinga. Why did I say Bazinga? I hate Big Bang Theory. Copy. Paste. Zing! <laughs> this will need to be 16. So many elect gates, man. So I'll need a 16 and then a 17. Actually, the current song playing is the best and one of the most dramatic. Really? It's already pretty decent. So this needs to control 16 as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pokey tail. What's up, just welcome Justin Andy. Let's see. Fan games. Pokemon Paradox game sucks. Yeah. What? No. Don't be too rude to me, you guys. I know you're I know you're joking. I know you're joking. But let's not make it a meme to be mean to me. Let's see. Sixteen. Seventeen. Wait. There we go. Sixteen. Almost there. Almost there. Good stuff. So that controls 16. 16. Just catching. It's vital? Uh oh. In that case, uh, I've made a vital mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I did have the Pokemon Paradox story kind of mapped out in my head before I started making the game. But with this game, I'm just going. Story's coming later, man. Let's see. Yeah, Pokemon My Ass. I've seen that. I don't know. It seems a, like... doesn't seem like my kind of game. Pokemon game aren't that good? Yeah. I think you're right. Like, what's a noir? It's like a type of crime film. You've heard of noir films, haven't you? Haven't you? Okay, have this go down. It needs to funnel down a little bit more. Even more funneling, baby. Yeah. That's true. I don't, I don't want the Pokemon games store main like the mainline Pokemon games to have two intense stories. LA Noir. Yeah, it's actually kind of inspired by LA Noir. Pokemon Noir. I actually use a LA Noir song in it. Boom ba boom. Okay, so this will go and this will be the way forward. Maybe I could do a rival battle down here. Oh, that'd be pretty mean. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a rival battle down here. Maybe this will be another battle with Sasha. So that way I could have all three of her locations mapped out. Oh, that'd be super mean if she pops out the door and it's like, Hey, what are you doing? Let's battle. Oh, that would be so mean. Edgy. Yeah, I don't like it when they're too edgy. That's actually, I played some of uh, Pokemon, what's it called? Insurgents, and I chose the Dark Story, and I was like, ugh. This is too edge. Too much edge. Yeah, so let's uh, do another rival battle here with Sasha. Wait, I need to be doing characters. What am I doing? Cool. Boom, boom, boom. And it, she can appear like here. That'd be funny if she came out the door and was like, Hey, what are you doing? Let's battle. I just got to the checkpoint. Oh, you haven't gotten there yet? This is perfect time to battle. That'd be so mean. People are going to hate Sasha for that. It's very throw you into it. Okay, I'm, I'm into that too. That's what I'm doing. My game is very just... You've played a Pokemon game before. Go. 
I'm not gonna hold your hand too much. I'm not gonna teach you how to catch Pokemon. My game assumes that you've already played Pokemon games before, which some people want. I am one of the people that want that. I want to play a Pokemon game where they give me an EXP all, they let me choose a starter Pokemon, and I just freaking go. So yeah. So yeah. That's where I'm at. Cool. Of course, it's amazing. I like Clarissa's theme. Is there going to be normal Pokemon or custom? There's going to be just normal Pokemon in this game. No fake Mon. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see, and then something like that, something like that. Cool, it all connects. Let's have this go even one further down like that. Very good stuff. Very good stuff so far. Very nice. Are you going to be in the game? I think so. I think I'll add myself as a little trainer, as like an Easter egg. I typically do that in my games. <laughs> this theme is about to go down. Yeah, I love that part of the theme. There's one part of this theme that's like my absolute jam. It's so good. Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, this part right here is a little too straightforward. Maybe I need to like spice this up a little. Aren't there any better corners I can use? I mean, I guess I did that there. It's not great. Ah, eh, it's actually okay. That's fine. Yeah, even that's enough to spice it up a little. I want my maps to be a little bit spicier. Let's make this a big corner. Like, uh, enough to fit a 4x4 little bit on. I want to have one of those big rocks right there. I love these big rocks. They're my favorite thing in my game right now. Gotta have more of them. Must have more big rocks. Must have more. Yes. Boom. Good stuff. Cowboy Bebop theme? I don't know. I'm not looking for jam and awesome right now, though. I'm looking for just chill. If it's jam and awesome, that's actually, uh... I need to watch Cowboy Bebop, though. I actually used to listen to that one song from it, Tank. That was good. An entire village dedicated. That's pretty cool. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? I think I am. I think I'll get Ultra Sun. Or maybe I'll get Ultra Moon. I don't know which one I'm going to get. I'll probably get one of them, though. And play it, and maybe I'll even stream it. Oh, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Let's see. A couple more rocks. Tank is the theme. Oh, okay. That song's pretty good. Boom. 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 Okay, fill that in like so. There we go. Making cringy. Yeah. I know from first-hand experience, actually, because I made Pokemon Noir, and that ends up being kind of cringy sometimes. Yeah, the more, the edgier you try to make it, like, I'm going to make an edgy Pokemon game, the, it just ends up being cringier. But, you know, live and learn. You have to... You have to make a cringy Pokemon game to learn not to make cringy Pokemon games, if that makes sense. So I, I had to make one to learn from my mistakes. Hmm. Still have to beat Sun? Oh, you still do. Oh, man. You gotta play it. I take it you're busy. Busy boy. 
you beat it by November. All right, the time is on now. The timer is on. Insurgents. Yeah, exactly. I ended up cringing at how uh, edgy it tried to be. It sometimes. I mean, I give it credit for like getting a lot of really cool stuff in their game. It's a very well-made game. But I, darker stories just aren't for me. It's just not for me. It's not bad. It's just not for me. Like, I don't want to have people dying and stuff. Exile's a bit much. Yeah, Exile... I'm still playing it right now, but... Watch the Exile account. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you. You only watched it because you liked my style. I appreciate that. Occasional swears and only actual in-game death scenes as well as this part of the character's backstory. That isn't too edgy, is it? Um... It's getting close, but I think that that gets a pass. As long as it's not like people going, Oh, fuck. We gotta get our fucking Pokemon. Shit, I just died and there's blood everywhere. Oh my god, what the sh fucking shit. Then, it, then I think it's okay. Otherwise, it just is too cringe. Uh, down like that, I think? Actually, this doesn't work. Let's do this. Plays an evil person. That's pretty cool. Did I just turn 13? Yep. I just turned into a little kid. I have to say all the swear words before daddy comes back into the room. Otherwise, I'll be in real big trouble. I'm gonna get rid of these little bits. I don't like these little bits. Well, well, I'm like eight. Yes, I'm eight years old. You got me. Wow, 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 wow. I'm 23. I'm 23 as well. Do, do, tw 24 here. Hey, nice. Grab a brew. That's my hyper beam. Fire for the main villain. Ace Pokemon. An innocent dies. Oh boy. Hmm, if they're innocent, I don't know. You said you're right. That's true. I'm eight. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Not 23. A. <laughs> also, A. Let's see. Oh no, no Hunter, no. I think it should be fine, okay. <laughs> so this will be a dumb puzzle. Let's actually do this. I can bring it up one level. And then I can adjust these rocks a little bit to fit. Oh no, I lowered my music in my, uh, gosh dang. Yes, they do look like a mustache. I must ask you a question. So let's see, these will be that. Okay. Stream puzzle. A steam puzzle. Ooh. That'd be cool. I like steam. I like I like uh I like buying games online. Let's see, so that's tile plus six. This will need to be tile plus seven. Where is it? There it is. Tile plus seven. Boom. Tile plus seven. Tile plus seven. 
Good stuff. And then it'll open up a switch over here. Which shall be a let gate 17. God dang. So many switches. It sucks. It'll work, but I hate having to do so many switches. We'll get it there. We'll get it though. We'll get it though. The heresy train. Harrison Ford? Okay, so this one is tile plus seven, so let's copy one of these. And make it tile plus seven. Copy, paste, 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 paste. And then this one will also be tile plus seven. Wait. When, but when it's on, it turns into a purple. That's what I need to do. And this will be a special one. Where on player touch, it'll do a show choice. No, what am I doing? Youngster named Joey. With uh, a billion ratatata. Ratatas. Did I say ratatata again? We're back to the start of the room. Insert. Show choices. Yes, no. If yes, then there. If no, then nothing. Cool. Ratatata tata 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 tata. Ratatata. Ratatata. I should make yeah, make a new rat called Ratatata in Pokemon Garbage. Let's see. Seventeen. Where's 17? There's 17. Okay. Nice. Copy paste. Man, this is gonna be a while. Oh, the song ended. I thought my volume faded out. Okay, what's another song that's good? What's another song that's good? Is Oh, the Cal the Callus Power Plant's pretty good, I think. This might be a little too intense, I don't know. Youngster Andy. I mean, I could. It's okay if not. I mean, I do have to make trainers eventually. Cool. Will there be raves? Maybe. I want to do one room where it's just like a rave. Intense. It's Pokemon. No, I mean like not in. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. I hate that comment so much. You know, it like too fast. God. Semantics me. God. Ugh. It can't be intense. It's just Pokemon music. Ugh. Um, let's put another rock up here. Okay, over here. Oh, God, bumping my mic. Yo, Poketate. Okay, let's uh, do another layer around the top and then be done. Listen to Cynthia's theme. I don't know. Youngster Andy team. Nah, so the levels are going to be uh, scaling. So you don't have to worry about setting the levels. Rave room. Oh no. 
Pokemon Exile was like, let's just tank the FPS. Okay, and then go over this way. And then down. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. Bum, 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 bum. FPS. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Exile just... I don't know why. I don't know why it did that, but, like, my frame rate... I might want to continue playing Exile. <laughs> yeah, watch this. No. What'd you do? Did you search, like, how to make bomb? That'll definitely get you on one. <laughs> no. No. The only way you will is if you do, like, something really stupid. Like, Google, like, bad stuff. Actually, I don't know how to get on a watch list. You'd probably have to be, like, doing a lot of bad stuff. I kind of want to steer the conversation away from this topic, though, so... Let's talk about something else, you guys! Yeah! I like Pokemon games. What is the first Pokemon game you ever played? What is the first Pokemon game you ever played? My first Pokemon game was Pokemon Blue version. And I picked Squirtle. And I didn't know how to save. So I lost, like, hours of me just fiddling around. It was dumb. Interesting. So we're getting a good a good range of people playing lots of different types of games. Streaming for? It's getting late. I don't want to miss. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to stream a little bit longer. I'm going to stream until I finish the checkpoint for the third mountain. So I still need to finish this room, and then I'll finish the checkpoint, and then I'll be done. But man, it's getting warm in here. Ooh. Okay, so maybe this one shouldn't be warp. Maybe it can be warp, though. Cool Pokemon. Yeah, I, I want a Squirtle if Pokemon are real. If Pokemon are ever real, I want Squirtle. I don't know what else I want, though. Maybe I should just make these all encounters. Nah, that's too much. Maybe I should warp. Doesn't know how to beat Pokemon Yellow. Oh, wow. To this day. That's crazy. On red. Ooh, somebody likes uh, Charizard. I need to make more warps, I think. I would want a Typhlosion. Interesting. Okay. So this one will be tough. This will be the trickiest one. And this will warp you here. And I'm going to need to make some more warp switches. Yay! Making more switches. Yay, my favorite. Crank up the maximum of switches. We've hit that point. We've officially hit the point where we need to crank up the switch usage. And I knew the electric mountain would do it to me. Giblio, what's up? Welcome, how you doing? X and Y. I really like the, uh... What song is it? The uh, mystery gift music from X and Y. X and Y. I need to get a longer cord for my mic. Because right now, my, the only way my mic can go is like right on top of my keyboard. Maybe I could like wrap it around somewhere else. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. This song. I love this song. Pa, pa, pa. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was loud. It was on beat, though. It was gross. With a mad cargo. Ooh. 
Going to head to bed? Alright, good night, Mr. McGee. You have a good night. Ooh, yeah, if it's 3 a.m., definitely get some sleep. GTS, that's pretty good. Really enjoyed the stream? Hey, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. I hope you have a good night. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank you. You too. And you have a good night. Okay, let's make it so that way this one is... Um, 30, and this one is 30. Oh, I know what to do. This will be interesting. Trash. Ah, oh, don't worry. You're, you're good. You have a good night, though. Is the stream over? No, it's not. It is not. So this needs to be... Warp 11. And this needs to be warp 11. Cool. Nice. So now I can copy it and paste it there. And this one needs to be warp 12. I'm having so much fun with all my switches. Yay. Yay. Yippee. And the only reason I have to do this is because there's a chance that they'll run at like weird opposite times. That's the only reason I have to do this. It's also good form, but also like, ugh. Blech. You know what I'm saying? Thirteen. Move root. Thirteen. Thirteen. Very good. 24 hour stream rave confirmed. Oh boy. The puzzles for the win. Oh man. These puzzles suck. <laughs> Fish another. Ooh, I'll put it in our channel. Let me take a look. Percentage being complete. Maybe 33%. I've got a lot of ideas done. Um, I, I'm at the point now where I just need to. Surprite. Oh, he's popping out a little little hat. I might be 33%. Um, I still have a lot that to do, though. Still have a lot. Mirabi song? I do like the Mirabi song. Uh, the Mirabi song goes like... That's how it goes, right? The Mirabi song if from uh, XD goes like... No, wasn't that from Mirror from XD? How's that go? It was like during it, didn't earn it. Yeah, that's how it goes. This song's good. Do I got mystery gift? No, I can't get it to work. I tried to get it to work so I could make a tutorial, but then I couldn't get it to work. A few minutes. Oh man, the bad luck. This is pretty good. Let's see. Do 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 do. Let's see, so that was warp 15. Wait, is this one warp 15? No, that's warp 14. So this is warp 15. So the mover needs to be updated again. And this will be warp 16. So the mover has to be updated once more. Oh, I know. I need to update this other one. That's important. Cool. Ooh, what do we got here? Pokemon Fusion. Ew. Dragonion. Oof. 
When does the game jam end? It ends August 10th. So I've got plenty of time to start putting stuff together. Move roots. Thirty. And let's make this like ten. Let's make this twenty actually. Uh was that twenty-four? So this one can be twenty-three, I guess. Edit 23. Edit 23. Cool. So it spins 30 frames off and 20 frames on. I should make it so it spins like 10 frames off and 20 on. And that's 23. I'll descend with these. So this is 20. This is going to be 22. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of blinking lights. If people don't like blinking lights, this might not be the best place for them. Like seizure warning, you know? Okay, this is 21. There we go. There we go. Nice stuff. Nah, yeah, no dragon type EVs. So now what I need to do is do some more warps. This will be warp 17, 18, 19, 20. I think I have enough. I think I made myself just enough. Who judges the game? Yeah, Relic Castle is just volunteers. There, nobody's making any money from Relic Castle. Nobody's being paid to judge. Um, it's really just higher ups from Relic Castle who volunteer their free time. So we should be grateful that they even organized such an event. But then again, we also are putting a lot of time in ourselves. But yeah, they're they're gonna judge and play them all, and it's all it's all volunteer. So this is warp seventeen, warp seventeen, game jam. Um, you'd have to make a new account, man. We told you last time. Uh, uh, if you wanna get into the game jam and make a game, I mean, there's nothing stopping you from making a game by yourself anyway. Um, but if you need to post it on Relic Castle, make yourself a new account. Hmm. I just took a huge sip of water. It was too much. Ugh. So now I need to figure out the timing for this. It'll be off for... Can't. I still don't understand why you can't make a new account. There's no reason why you can't. If you can't make a new account and you're banned forever, then I guess you can't enter the game jam. Um, let's see. 30, 30. Okay, I think I got an idea. Let's do it in fives. Let's see. So that's 30, 30. Copy, paste. I might need to make it faster, actually. Yeah, I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm gonna make it 20, 20. Yeah, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. 20, 20, copy pastes, 18, 18, 18, so what we need to do is add a weight to the beginning of 5 and subtract 5 from the end. So this becomes 15. Good stuff. It's aggressive. No, I'm not aggressive. If if, if you want to make me aggressive, though, then uh, you'll get wrecked. Not you, though, Poketite. You're you're cool. But if other people make me make me aggressive, then yeah. Boom, boom. Let's see. 19. Yeah, that was one of my favorite quotes. Is I mean not. That, that I said myself. It's really narcissistic to have a list of quotes that you like that you said, but uh, 
I liked in one of my videos, I said, like, there's a lazy way to do it and a, uh, a, a non-lazy way to do it, but if you're going to continue to take lazy ways when you're making a game, why even bother making a game? That was one thing that I said that was pretty good. Like I said before, I already prefaced it, it is very narcissistic to collect a list of quotes that you said yourself and you like. <laughs> see, was this 15? Was this 5? I think that's good. Boom. Start way to make me aggressive. Oh, no, I'm mad! Ah! Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Let's see. So this will be another... This is just going to be the blink room. Where This will be like... It'll blink over 182 times. It's going to be a lot of blinking. There'll be more blinking than a blinking. 20... 20. Could be going off on the guy. That... Oh, wait. What? Was that a while back? Somebody sent, like, really bad art that they said I should put in Pokemon title, and I said, no, I'm not going to do that. And they were like, what? What the heck? And I was like, oof. I've prepared for this moment. And then I went Super Saiyan level 3, and then I kicked him into the sky. It was great. Bow. No get banned, you get the error on Relic Castle. If you get banned, then you get the error on Relic Castle when you try to log on. Have you tried messaging one of the moderators? Uh, the lead guy on Relic Castle is named Dio. Uh, he's on Twitter. Have you tried reaching out to him on, uh, Twitter? Because I... It's also hard to contest a ban, because I don't know what you got banned for, because I haven't seen your message history. If you if you did spam and ask too many questions, like, a million times, then... Yeah. He's like, you thought it was somebody else moderating... Relic Castle, but it was me, Dio. Co what does he say? Does he say Konoda Dio or Dio Konoda? I think it goes Dio Konoda. It was me, Dio. Huh. Pshing. Okay, um, I don't know why I paused the music. Let's try our puzzle. If all goes according to plan, Kono Dio da. That's what it is. I got, I got it wrong. Kono Dio da. But it was me, Dio. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> My puzzles are so stupid. These puzzles are stupid. Okay. Hoo ha ha. Hoo. Hoo ha. No. Hoo ha. These are stressful, man. So fascist. Wait, what did I do? I'm a fascist. Oh god. <laughs> These are actually kind of fun with how stupid they are. So racist. Wait, I'm a racist now. What did I do? Oh no. Alright, run away. No, what the heck? Oh, did I mess up the switches maybe? Or are these just blinking so fast? Nazi. What did I do? What did I say? Uh, what the heck? I've made my own puzzles impossible. Bop, 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 bow. Alright. Come on, baby. Uh. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah. Whoa, no! Based off the Undertale tile puzzle? No. It just... Every tile puzzle nowadays will end up looking like the Undertale tile puzzle. Um... Yeah. Come on! F fudge! Flippin' A, dude. This puzzle's hard. It's fun! At least the consequence for landing on the yellow space is just a wild battle. Come on! Ah! Asian accent during Kono Diota. Well, what else was I supposed to do? I'm supposed to say it in the in the accent. It's not racist to do an accent, unless you do it like really offensively. But I said it the way that he said it when I watched JoJo. Oh God damn it! 
If doing an accent is racist, then I'm a racist. Bum bum bum. Come on, baby. Huh. Huh. Gah. Shit. Okay, here we go. I like doing lots of different voices. Should have said ice cream because you've been like, ah, oh, I could have. But I end up saying fudge. Fudge! Ice cream! Alright. Uh, these puzzles are hard. Wait. It blinks! There we go. No! Okay, I think this is difficult enough. I I'm gonna cheat myself over to the end. There we go. So now I can try to beat it again. Huh. Huh. The timing is like way off from what I originally wanted, but... Hi -ya -ya! I made it! We're back to the start of the room. Yes, please. No, that's not the right tile. But we're getting there. I'm glad I tested that, because the start of the room is actually right here. Boom. There we go. Oh man, we should we should steer the conversation away from racism also. These are all loaded topics that you guys are wanting to bring up in Twitch chat. I'm getting I'm getting triggered, you guys. I'm so triggered right now. Okay. Bonk. Okay. Boom, boom. Normie Stanny, what? Let's see, I might want to move that one over. Side of the room? Yes. Yay, now I can walk through all of them. Oh no, except that one. Haha, -ha, but I can cheat to walk through that one. And that one. And that one. There we go. This is a decent room! What is debug mode? I hold control and I walk through everything, baby. Debug mode is essentially when you launch the game through RPG Maker instead of launching it through game.exe. So if I press this green play button, I'll be entering the game in debug mode, and this is the testing mode that uh, game makers have access to. But when you give your game to people, they'll run it through game.exe, and that is not debug mode. And it looks like that. Oh yeah, I still have to do the, uh, oh, whoa. I still have to make uh, intro stuff, don't I? I'm using Luca's uh, default essentials intro that comes with his uh, resource pack. Ta-da! I'm in the game! And now I can't hold control and I can't clip through things. Because I'm not in debug. If I press F9, it won't do anything. Um, so this floor is basically good. It's really loud. Yeah. In debug, it, it's a different executable. Oh yeah, the intro is really loud. Um, yeah. Do a stream of making an intro. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll worry I'll worry about it later. You don't you don't have to tell me what to do. I'll I'll make it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, but yeah, I'll uh I'll eventually work on the intro. Eventually. <laughs> I said I was going to end the stream when I did the outside, so I guess I'll work on the outside now, and then uh, after it's done, I'll uh, curl up into a ball and die. Bow. Bow, bow. Cool. Paste that there. So right now, this will still take you to Mount Yellow, but we'll fix this. Down, down. The GIF intro of paint. Oh my god. Yeah, from Whack. Yeah, the Universal from is amazing. Luca, Luca is a goddamn genius. Boom. All right, let's make our map. Mount. I think this third floor redeems the other floor for being so bad. This floor is fine. We're done. I do get a good amount done, don't I, huh? 
I like being productive. We got we got some good stuff done tonight too, you guys. Let's see, what is it? Gate 49 down to 90. Plus, I'm taking breaks every day to go to work and I change my mindset. I'm a QA tester by day. I come back home and I work back on my game. So I gotta shift the gears. Used funky beat to restore health. Yeah, I'm recovering health now. I can feel my energy rapidly returning to me. Alright. I can copy one of these to get a good head start on the uh, mountain. Let's uh, let's make you come out on the left side and then climb up. Means I can stream longer. Um, on the weekends I can. I can stream longer tonight because uh, it's Friday. Meaning I don't have to get up early. I get up uh, to go to work. Oh wait, there's no outside. Shit! I have to make one. Shit! Could I just copy this and make this green? No. Man, I hate having to make tiles. But I have to make a tile right now. Hmm. This shouldn't be too hard. I can probably copy the door from this cave and just apply it to the green. Let's do that. Got it down on Friday. What song is this? This is Mirror B Battle from Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Look at this boy. Okay, let's go to our tile sets. Caves. I can just open caves because I don't have to copy anything from outside. And let's copy this bit right here. This one specific, or rather these two specific tiles, what I'm gonna do in 32, 64, yes. Copy, and now I need to apply the green tint to it. I'm surprised that it doesn't have this already. Oh shoot. There we go. Nice. So let's start painting our dark green. Um, this should be the lightest color. And the next one should be the next darkest. And then the next one should be the next darkest. And the next one should be the next darkest. Oh wait, this needs to go like that. And then the next darkest. That might work. Now I just need to set the passability, but I think that might be good. San Diego, yep, I'm in San Diego, baby. I don't know if that's what the message was saying, but... Yep, it is the 15th for me right now. We've crossed over into the midnight zone. Let's see, let's test our database caves. Passable, impassable priorities? No priority, interesting, okay. Where is it? There it is. Passable, impassable. No don't worry about terrain tags or priority or anything. Nice. Let's see how it looks in our map. Ah, uh, it looks fine. I think it looks fine. A cave door with grass on top. Maybe. It looks okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shoot. There we go. Look at that. Before I got some cuts apart. Ooh! Uh, send it to me via Discord, private message. That's probably a good way to send it to me. That's probably the best way to send it to me, actually.
across. There we go. We got ourselves a big ass mountain, dude. Cool. Tank. I'll play it when I end the stream. What are some resources besides the Luke SJ stuff? I don't know. It's like really random, like when you find good stuff or versus not. It's a. Uh, it seems to be like a total crapshoot sometimes in terms of like finding actually good resources. One thing that's really good is the uh, Pokemon Essentials uh, Black and White project. That was made by Klein Studio, and that's a. Uh, that's really helpful. Um, you can get good. Uh, tile sets for black and white games. I think uh, I, I'm using that in Pokemon Tidal, actually. That one's good. Chill music. Is this the tank from Cowboy Bebop? Okay, cool. I'll play that. I'll play that when I'm ending. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's have Nurse Joy kind of around a little corner here. Uh, let's move this one back, actually. And then this can go up a little bit more. So Nurse Joy can be here. PC can be here. So this needs to be one over. And then in that case, this can be like that. Because I kind of got an idea of what I want. Wins tile set. Ooh, nice. Let's see. Let's go like that. Making tile sets is pretty fun, especially if you're like decent at art. I'm not, but uh, you can you can have a pretty good time like making tile sets and then testing them. That's always fun to see them like in game. Go across, paint it, nice. Have this kind of wrap around. This might need to go up one more. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe I should introduce the mechanic here of uh, the switchy electric gates where there's a red one and a blue one, which means I need to expand my tile set slightly. I need to expand it down one tile. Um, and I might want to do vertical ones eventually later, but uh, for now I'll just do horizontal. Canvas size, expand downwards, add 32 to this. That makes it 60. Cool. Copy. Paste. Nice. So I just need to replace these colors with uh, red, their red counterpart. Which is very easy to do. Just drag it all the way up. I'm in like turbo mode now. Ooh, look at that. Cool. So now be red ones and blue ones. Healing methods on each mountain could be nice, like a hot bath. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Electricity massage. I don't know about an electricity massage. I mean, maybe that could be a stretch goal for later. Yeah. But yeah, caves, saves, good stuff. Yeah, she's just chilling on the side of the mountain. Minding her own business. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba, da. So maybe I should make a blue one and a red one. I already have a blue one and a red one, so I can just use that for this mountain. Hmm. But the blue ones previously were for those switches. Maybe I should make a yellow one for those switches. Let's do that real fast. That'll be easy. 100 bits for an electric massage. 
tip in for an electric massage. One dollar for an electric massage. What a great deal. Copy, paste. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -dum. Okay. Ba -bum. Delete. Just slide that over to yellow. Oh no, wrong layer. There we go. Slide this on down to yellow as well. And then slide this on down to yellow. There we go. Cool. Save. Nice. Sound for villain team? That sounds like a pretty good name. Team Cyclone. Save the art. Oh. <laughs> well, this seems like it's been done before, right? Those three on the mountain sitting there. These little cuties. But then just the Pokemon logo placed on above. There you go. 100% zoom. Boom, bow, boom, bow. Okay, did I save this? I did. Cool. So now we got our yellow switches here. So now I can change these ones to be yellow. That'll make more sense. Or maybe... No, these being blue is good. But these being yellow, that'll be better. No, hmm. this is hard to decide on. How about white switches for the tiles? Yeah. Okay, I need to invert mine. So the blue becomes white for the tiles. And if it's an electric switch, it's yellow. No, it's blue. Electric switches are blue. Electric switches are blue. Electric switches are blue. The reason I'm making them blue is because they open the blue gates, and the red ones will open the red gates. It makes sense, I just need to invert these. These need to be inverted. This more was a thing. Oh, I know who you're talking about, via the emotes. Okay, switch them, switch them, switch them. Is that it for switches? Oh yeah, here's another one. If it's an electric switch, it needs to be blue. Cool. So that's all good. No, that's an electric switch as well. That needs to be blue. And the reason I'm doing that is because there will also be red switches later for the red uh, electric gates. So red for red, blue for blue. If it's a tile switch, it's white. I don't know why I made a yellow one. Maybe I can make the tile switches yellow. But for now, I'm just inverting them to make it easier for me. Yeah. Okay. Blue. So this is an electric switch that affects a blue gate, so it should be blue. If it's an electric switch that affects a blue gate, it should be blue. If it's an, ele an electric switch that affects an a red gate, it should be red. That'll make the most sense. That'll make the most sense. There we go. I could make the tile ones yellow. Let's do something somewhat important. See ya? Alright, see ya, Twiggle the Koala. You have a good night. It's electric that affects blue. So these need to be blue. I mean, I could make some of these red also. It'd be fine. But yeah, now I can now I can make some really tricky puzzles by having alternate alternating uh, electric switches. So that way they'll all be linked to one global switch. So it'll actually be easier to event as well. So it'll either be red on or blue on, where a switch turns red on and blue off. 
and all of the blues will be on and all the reds will be on at the same time. Bow bow. Bow bow bow. So here is where I want to introduce that mechanic to them. I want to introduce it to them here. Where there's blue that are affected by blue switches. Maybe coming up with new game mechanics while I'm really tired is not a good idea. Oh well. Oh well! This is how people learn. You gotta learn. You gotta burn to learn. So set yourself on fire. Actually, no, don't do that. Um, put that there. Let's have this go like that. Actually, no, I want to have a, uh, a big rock there. I really like the big rocks. Needs a game corner. Yeah, maybe I'll add a game corner later. Right now, I'm just prioritizing the critical path, but I'm, I'm interested to add a lot of bonus stuff once I'm done making the mountain. Let's see, let's add two big rocks here so I don't forget to add them. Bow, bow. Let's add another rock there. I like these rocks a lot. They're very good. It's two pyramid. Wait, are you talking about my mountain? It's not done yet, though. I would say reserve your critiques for when it's actually in a state where I can consider it to be critiquable. Save your critiques for now. It's still, I'm still mapping it. Bow, bow. Oh no. There we go. There we go. Should go over like that much? No, like that much. This music's pretty jamming. Big old brush now. Go brush underneath some of this stuff. Cosmic types weakness B. Hmm. I don't know. That's a tough one. Um. What are what are they good against? It's getting there, it's getting there. The song is over. Oh no. What will I play instead? I'll play the best song. Yes. And Psychic. I think that'd be fair, Psychic and Fairy. So, fairy's gotta have another weakness. 
Gotta reel it in. All these big old rocks I got going on up here. Okay. Pull some of these, pull some of those. Pull one of these. Very good, very good. Fourth stream. Wait, what? Did the did the stream cut out? I think it should still be good. Ooh, let's see. Steel keeps effective to it. Okay. I think that'd be interesting. Yeah. What is steel good against? Rock. Uh, fairy. The fact that steel is good against fairy is weird. Cut out? Okay, it might just be your internet then. Hopefully it's not cutting out for everyone. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. There we go. Iron burns fairy. That doesn't make any sense though. That making no sense. You're gonna head to bed? Alright, good night, man. Thank you for swinging by. Have a good night. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Is there a layer I need to delete? Oh, no, there isn't. There's just a layer I need to add down here. There we go. Have you read my English mythology? Have I, re have I read English mythology? No. I've read some mythology stuff, but like I don't really care that much about mythology. Like, uh... Don't tell anyone else I said this, but like... I don't really care about mythology too much. Copy. Copy. There we go. So now we can make it so our map connects. The checkpoint one of Mount Trueno. And we can go to the outside and copy one of these. Looking at this, I'm going to need to modify some of my old maps also. <laughs> oh well. It'll come in time. Let's take you back to the third floor. facing here. Sweet. So now there's only two other switches I need to do. Um, I also need to add stairs here. That's kind of important. Um, so basically, let's copy one of these blue switches and modify it slightly. The way this will work is there's only going to be two states. There's going to be Blue on and red on. So when you step on a blue one, it checks to see if red on is on, I guess. And if red on is on, OK, 
control switch, turn red on, off, and turn blue on, on, and then do the opposite. Or, let's see, if I explained, it's just gold and silver are power of the fairies because they're evil? Am I completely wrong? I don't know. I guess, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's too late. Let's see. Blue on off. Red on. On. I mean, I could also make it so it does nothing. That'd be interesting. But it should also, by default... Turn blue on. Um, maybe it'd be better to determine this based on if blue on is on. If blue on is off and you step on it, it'll do this. It'll turn blue on on and red on off. Otherwise, it'll do nothing, right? By default, it's off. There we go. And now I need to make the red variation of it. Which should be easy. If red on is off, do the opposite. Turn red on on, and blue on off. Cool. Just my internet. It might just be your internet. But also, actually, no. I'm not, I'm not seeing anyone chatting either. We're just having a chill wrap-up. We're getting down to the very end. It's late night. It's real. It's real hours. So let's see, this will only show up if blue on is on. No, wait. Let's see, delete that event page. This one will only show up if blue on is on. There we go. I might be making something unbeatable right now, but we'll figure it out. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. Sleep on my couch watching the stream. Oh yeah, just chilling. Full asleep soon. It's about time. Well, yeah, we're wrapping up soon. <laughs> uh, maybe I need to make it so that way this does do something. Uh, I think I messed up these events. Okay, let's uh let's rename our switches to be blue off and red off. We're almost there though. We're almost right there though. That means reds are on. Oh man, I'm really confusing myself now. It's probably bad that I'm doing that. But, basically, if blue is off, this shouldn't show up. Wait, no. That's why I do need to make a new event page. If blue is off, this shouldn't show up, otherwise it should show up. But, fuck, by default it is off. Whatever, I guess this could be what sets the tone of it. Man, I, it's so late. I shouldn't be doing these events right now while I'm so late. I'm confusing myself, man. We're getting there. Uh, damn it. I need to figure out what I want to do with these switches. I want to make it so that way this switch is mandatory to hit. You have to hit this switch to progress. A sub-champion battle after Elite Four with a real champion battle in the ending credits? Huh. It's like a bait and switch kind of thing? That would be interesting. Wait, I think I've got it. If blue off is on, and you have to hit this to turn blue off on. Yes. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Okay. 
Yes, I think I've got it. So you have to hit this switch to progress. Nice. So now... Ugh. Confusing myself here. But this will be a red one now. And then this will only work if red off is on. I should have chosen a different name to make it a little bit less confusing for myself. Maybe I can make it so that way the switch is named, like... Instead of red off and red blue off, call it, like, blue turned off, you know? Red turned off. There we go. So that's red turned off. There we go. Wait, no, that was the wrong tile. That was the wrong tile. This is the right tile. There we go. Copy. Now this should work. Let's test it. And if it works, then I can go to bed and then play Cowboy Bebop songs or whatever. Oh yeah, I just used control. All right. So if I put a rival battle here, that's really mean. So I'm gonna put a rival battle there. Oh no, it crashed. The game crashed saying no method error, undefined method for nil class. Something about a shadow update. Something doing a sprite initialize. Interesting. What does that have to do with things? So it was when I loaded this map. Yeah, maybe I need to set the, uh... Maybe I didn't do anything with the database yet. Maybe that's what the problem is. Yeah, let's see. Priority for the users one as well. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted those ma uh, events. Crap, why did I delete them all? Oh well, let's let, let's at least make sure that we can go into the map now. Um, if I can go into the map, then it turns out that it was that tile that was the issue. So let's save and see what's going on. Yeah, so it was that tile. So now it's... What? That's not doing anything. Oh, I see. Cool. So now I just need to make those tiles again. And then test and see if that works now. Yeah, that's an interesting crash. Uh, blue turned off, red turned off. No, red turned off. Copy, okay. Copy, paste. Play some music again. Interesting post in Discord. Ooh, you did? Alright, cool. Take a look. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I like it a lot. Can we, um, can I, can I suggest a few tweaks? In general, though, that's really good. I like the mountain applied to the text. Can we try, like, a more... Uh... Hmm, I'm trying to think of a good way to do this. In general, though, this is good. Could we incorporate the three birds somehow? Like, they don't have to be, like, here filling up this space, but could we potentially incorporate, like, some sort of, like, one, two, three, maybe, to fill this space down here? I don't know if it would look good, though. But yeah, in general, this is really good. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah, but it's, there's, there's, a, there's a typo. Summits trials instead of summit trials. But other than that, yeah. <laughs> so if it would be possible to maybe incorporate the red, yellow, and blue, or red, blue, and yellow, potentially somewhere, like those three, the, tr the triple, and then fix the typo. But other than that, yeah, it's good. 
Shut the bridge shadows. See that? I don't know how to do that. Yeah, that looks pretty good otherwise. Thank you, man. I appreciate that very much. Lack of the PSD, yeah. <laughs> that would suck to have to like remake it from scratch. Keeping the PSD is the secret, man. That's how. But then it'd have to be a really long GIF. It'd have to be a really long one if you wanted to occasionally flash lightning and it would like repeat. I don't know. I think it's not worth. All right, let's go. Let's test it. Well, well, no, no. Cool, no crash. Let's test our switches. There's our nurse. Ah <laughs> It's working. Now we're gonna make some really interesting puzzles. Good stuff. I might need to add one more layer up above. Up there. Yeah, I'll add two layers up above up there. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Let's do some metadata and let's add another layer up top and then we'll be done, baby. And then we'll be done. Outdoor? Yes. Show area? Yes. Bicycle? Uh, no. Weather? Let's just make it normal rain. Cool. And I'll worry about map position later. Did I set the metadata of the third map here? I didn't. Outdoor? No. Show area? Sure. Bicycle? No. I'll worry about map position later when I actually have a map. Did I do this? I did. Did I do this? I didn't. Outdoor? No. Show area? Yes. Bicycle? No. Should I allow people to bike in these mountains? I mean, it'll be an easy fix later. Outdoor? No. Show area? Yes. Bike? No. Good stuff. No. 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 Cool. So now when I leave and come back, it should be, uh... Rainy. Yeah. I like how that looks. That looks pretty good. Alright. Let's see. You can rain or extreme sunlight in a building? Uh, I think you can. I think you can also just set it in the battle. I forget exactly how, but yeah, you can set weather. Um, in a building. I think it just won't apply and show up. Lepa is awesome. What's up? Welcome. How you doing? Yeah, we can access the PC as well. Cool. Alright. Uh, but now it all works. So, um... I think I'm gonna go to bed. I've been... I'm stri oh, what the heck? You can walk on this? I need to fix that. Can't walk on that, but I can walk on this. Uh, it might be possible to set it in a battle. Um, just in the call for the battle, if you can set a weather. I'm not entirely sure, though. I'm not certain. Why could I walk on this tile? Was it because... Oh, I know why. I know why. Let me take a look. It's because of the passability issue here. Yeah, I, I made it so these two tiles are passable. When I shouldn't have. Uh, let's go into the database and fix that. Make it so that way these aren't passable. So that way I will learn from my mistake. No passability on these two tiles up here. So if I ever run into any weird passability problems. Now I won't. Just run on custom weather effects in the future that fix battles. Maybe. I actually currently don't really know how to do that. Make a custom weather effects to affect battles. It's probably like not too hard to do just looking on the current existing weather effects and like copying how they implemented it. 
but it might be really difficult. It depends on the weather effect you want to do as well. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say no, but on the flip side, I'm also not going to promise you yes. Uh, there's no definitive yes for this. Bare bones checkpoint, yes. These checkpoints are all pretty bare bones. Essentially, you should be able to heal and access your PC, and that's it. And then go up the mountain a little bit. Like, look at the checkpoint for the other ones. Pretty bare bones. Pretty bare bones. That's part of the point of it. Just to heal and then get back into the mountain. And you also are going to be able to fly here. But other, other than that, that's like the only purpose they serve. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed now. Thank you everyone for swinging by and hanging out with me during this stream. I had a good amount of fun. We got a good amount of work done. We made some more floors. I'm gonna see you guys. How do you get Pokemon Music and Arm XP? You just drop it into your audio folder. Go into your audio folder, drop your music files in here. If, if it's BGM, background music, background sound, me or whatever. Um, oh wait, I don't. I, maybe I shouldn't play the song Hunter because uh, there's a chance that my channel will get uh, like the video could get like copyright strike. I don't know. I, I've been I've been following a strict rule of only playing Pokemon songs. I'll play it for a little bit. There we go. <laughs> good night, you guys. Sorry. Have a good night. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.